Well, 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 everyone. Hello and welcome back. So last time, when I was trying to do Minecraft hardcore, I uh, kept dying, kept making the mistake of going into those places that uh, strong monsters are at and uh, dying quite frequently. And so that was not a great time. Not a great time. So, I figured we'd try it again. And uh, I did start a survival world as well. And you can see it in the list here once we load up. But uh, I decided I would start and like at least generate a survival world in case we uh, get fed up with doing hardcore stuff. And then I can switch over to that and... Uh, not lose my mind. Yeah. Let's switch on over. And we shall start the game. Play a little bit of Minecraft. Maybe. If the game launches then. Huh. All right. Oh, also, I need to disable music, at least for right now, because uh, that the uh, what song was it? The Minecraft audio known as Wet Hands, I think it was. It uh, caused copyright on my, my channel. Let me actually double check that. I want to make sure which one it is. Before I start saying that, you know. View option. It was four. Yeah. So there was this, uh, there's this song called Wet Hands. That uh, is part of the audio in Minecraft, right? And we'll just real quick create a hardcore world. Hmm. I didn't select options. Okay. Making sure. Great new world. Yes. Great hardcore world while I just did. Anyway, yeah, so that song, Wet Hands, which played, like, once, last stream, got a copyright strike by the people who made it. Uh, even though, in the Minecraft Terms of Service, it says that you can use all music that is in Minecraft if you're playing Minecraft. Uh, so I submitted a counterclaim saying that, hey, uh, we can literally do this. I'm waiting for them to get back, back to me. Uh, and be like, okay, yeah, you can monetize it. But if uh, they're going to be losers and be like, no, I am going to just have to mute the music or find a way to exchange that file for a like file that does not have audio in it. We'll just give uh, the world a second to load here before we do anything. Just give it a little bit of chance to catch up, you know, as it goes. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to spin around a little bit here. So I spawn up of a tree, which is honestly not ideal, because that means we're going to take damage if we jump down. And uh, that's not great. So let's open up the map now. We should have had a time to generate a bunch of chunks. Okay. Let's find anything that looks good right now. Uh, there's a little hut over here. Let's set a waypoint there, and we can check that out. I'm on the border of a swamp. I hate swamps. They're just like in the way, you know? It just sucks to travel around them. Oh, there's a uh, circular fortress area up there. It's not really a fortress, it's the place that some traders were at when we went the last time. I think for now that looks good. We'll, we'll mark those and then I'll go to the ones that are closest while the rest of the map decides to load in. Uh, I just mine down the middle of the tree. That way I can get wood. I don't have to take fall damage. I don't know why I was like, I'll just fall down. I, I can't obviously get off of this without taking fall damage. At first. All right. Well, like before, we learned our lesson the first, you know, the first time we were playing this hardcore. 
And uh, like I said, I think now what our plan is going to be is to stay away from the bad places that have, you know, the, uh, the dungeons and the monsters that are wearing full diamond gear and do an entire chunk of parts in one swing. Basically putting that death's door in a hit. Uh, yeah. Just fall down here. You know, it, come to think of it, in all the hardcore runs we did yes, last time, I was about to say yesterday, but last time, we, uh, we never actually got into a cave, did we? <laughs> That's messed up. All we did was like scavenge on the, uh, the surface. And then we were like, oh crap. Luckily, we'll have a little more. Or hopefully, not luckily. Oh crap, this is a witch's hut. Run! Run! Oh god, I heard a bottle. Try to kill me. I'm not going to deal with the witch right now. We'll just bypass her and go to the, uh, the nether portal. The damaged nether portal, I guess. Also, I think I'm going to... Ignore getting a backpack for right now. Uh, it's just not worth wasting my time killing cows and stuff for the extra baggage space, which is just going to be... That witch is still following me. The extra baggage space, that's just going to be, you know, destroyed uh, when we die in like five minutes. Dude, what is the generation? There's like two block high like cliffs. On either side of this swampy river. Okay. There's some gravel there. First order of business, get to this. See what goodies it has in store for us. Hopefully it has like a golden pickaxe or something. That'd be really swell. That way we wouldn't have to make a uh, copper or I don't know why I said copper. A Stone or iron pickaxe. Okay, we got some leggings. And we, of course, cannot wear these because if we put those on, we will not be able to take them off again, which is bad. At least we got a sword, though, so that's okay. That'll work for us. Um, There's another little frame down here. Some sort of house in the water over there. I think we'll ignore that because that's just like a trader place right now. Let's let's go south towards the other portal. Then over there. This is like a giant sinkhole right here, too, by the way. That's interesting. I actually want to just look at that. Like just because it's an interesting like generation of land happened there, you know? But you know what? Actually, before we go any further, I want to just make some stuff. We'll just put all of it there. Okay. Give me all the sticks. I don't have to make any more. Okay. Let's get this. Make an axe. I'm going to stock up on wood real quick. Before we do anything else. That way I'll have it. And I don't have to worry about getting a bunch more later. Get a nice good chunk of it going. Okay, onto the next tree. Also, there's sheep here. I should grab a, some wool for a bed. I'm not going to waste the sword in attacking them, because the axe will do just fine. Alright, where are the other sheep? There we go, there's one. Hey, sheep! Need you to die. Oh, okay, got three wool, got a little bit of food, which is nice. That'll help. Oh, do trees drop sticks now when they decompose? That's cool. Good to have. I think I'll use up half of this axe's durability before we uh, continue on our little journey here. I'm going to try to be a little more cautious as well, just simply because... Don't want to have to restart again. 
Okay. I think this last tree here will be all we'll do for trees anyway. Got all the wood we need. Pick back up. Actually, before we pick this up, let's make a bed first of all, just in case it gets to be night. We need to use a bed quickly. Take this. Okay, perfect. Come over here and grab these sticks, and then we'll continue on our way. Go pig. I really like the uh the icons on the mini map, how it shows the orange or yellow colored uh, dots to indicate there's drop stuff there. It'll be very handy if we ever like have to like run away before we loot something. Something like that. I don't know. I'm gonna ignore sugar cane and stuff like that for now. I kind of want to prioritize what I'm carrying. And getting sugar cane is is not that big of a, a deal. At least in the beginning. It will come in handy once we actually get to the point where we need books and stuff, but at least for right oh my god. Oh my god. That is that is a really deep hole just in this swamp in it. Dang. Some magna brocks down there, some copper. Please there's I think that's iron right there? Yeah, dang. What a hole. What a hole. If I had a uh, helmet of... It is re does rebreathing or respiration... Does that just increase the time you can be underwater? Or is it completely, like, let you breathe underwater? I always forget. Regardless, let us come over here to this portal and see what goodies we can get from the chest. What do we got? Okay, we got a couple of swords, a shovel, golden horse armor, there's some vanishing leggings, those will work. They don't uh, bind to me, so that's always nice. Also, I'm going to throw away this stuff. I got a shovel with mending, that's perfect. Come in handy. I got a sweeping edge sword and a sharpness one sword. I'll take the sweeping edge. Actually, you know what? I'll take the sharpness one for now. We'll do that. Take the golden horse armor. We can drop it if we need to, but... Right now, I'll hold on to it. Okay. Next up, we were going to go across... We were going to go up there, actually, weren't we? Something else on the map right now. That seems interesting. So yeah, let's make our way... <clears throat> towards the pink marker. I'd like to explore a bit before, you know, I... set up shop. Ideally, what I, I like to find before I, like, start building a base, is an area that really, like, speaks to me on an aesthetic level. Something that I can be like, I can build a house here. Or at least somewhere that has, like, an interesting landscape or biome. Uh, like, I really like the icy biomes. Those are pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> get it cool, because it's ice. But anyway, I like the icy biomes. And uh, if I could find one that's, like, on the border of, like, a desert... An ice biome and like a biome with good trees would be cool to have at least a couple different biome like intersections you know those are some good places to build up at because that way you have you know access to various things also one that's on the uh, side of an ocean like this is also very handy so you can get you know access to the ocean and go across oh speaking of ice there's some over there Maybe we'll just make our way across or around this ocean. Or maybe a giant lake, because it looks like it might just be a lake. Kind of how it looks. I can't run anymore because I'm out of food, which is not ideal. There's some pigs. I'll go kill some pigs to get some meat. I know I have some mutton, but... It never hurts to have a little bit extra, you know? Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Perfect. The axe is just so much better than the sword for doing this. Here we go. Uh, much nicer attack. 
I'm gonna chase him down there. Go. All right, it's 11. That's all we need right now. Let me actually, real quick. I don't have a pickaxe though. Okay, well, let me mine into this and we'll make a pickaxe real quick. I really didn't want to make a wooden pickaxe because it's just a waste of resource. You gotta do it sometimes. Okay. Now let's switch to a cobble pickaxe. Excellent. And I'm actually going to go ahead and seal up this hole as well because I don't want anything getting down here uh, killing me. There we go. Although I don't have a light, so that is fine nah, for now. As long as we don't have a area where monsters can spawn, we're gonna be okay. Sorry, it's gonna be a little dark for now. Oh. Speaking of... This is we got a tunnel network, if we look at the uh, mini-map in the upper left. Right below us, almost. Actually, I think the thing over there, I can see on the mini-map, is just that little ravine thing. You know, in fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sleep, open up the tunnel so we have a little more light on the subject of what we're doing here, you know? I think that would be helpful. There we go. Okay, now we actually have a little bit of room here. I can build a furnace now. Perfect. Although I don't have anything to light the furnace with. Um... In fact, why don't we make some charcoal first? That'll help out. Especially since we have a, a wooden axe we can use to just destroy and get out of our inventory so we can upgrade to stone. Okay. I'll just use the rest of this uh, wooden axe. Okay, there we go. That should be enough to at least get a little bit of charcoal going. Back, please. That there and that there. I'm just gonna split it up so it does that. And while that's working on getting some charcoal, I will just get a little more stone. Try digging a little bit deeper, maybe. We'll just exchange that around so we're not wasting our precious logs make charcoal and we can just use a charcoal to make more you know what I mean if we keep going down this way we should eventually hit this cave network that we're like near I don't want this copper because copper is actually no use in Minecraft I mean it does but it, it doesn't Oh, you can make copper blocks, yay. Uh, you can make a, a spyglass, which doesn't matter for us. You can make a lightning rod, which also doesn't really matter. Like, never in my gameplay career of Minecraft have I had lightning strike and just completely ruin my day. Never. I've never had lightning strike my house and been like, oh no, my, my house, darn. If only I had a lightning rod or something to protect against the lightning. Just, uh, just a real shame, you know. Let that area back up there. Let's go ahead and just plug that hole. I'm just looking to see if I can get any maybe like iron or something while we're just waiting for the stuff up there to go. I can't tell if I'm getting closer to the tunnel below us or if it's like really, really, really deep, you know. Okay, that finished in just the nick of time. Let's go ahead and cook these pork chops. And then I will just continue uh, mining down here, I guess. Take a while to cook those. What is this? Is this just back to stone? Okay, yeah, it is. Good. Oh, looks like we got a... Uh, Underground area? OK. 
Okay. Well, I definitely can't, uh... I'm not going to drop in the water, because if I do, I won't be able to get back up from this particular angle. I can do it now. I think it's just an underwater cave. Interesting. Still don't see anything that's too uh, promising for resources. Or... I think uh, I think this hole was a mistake. So let's just go back up before I waste too much food, and we'll just cook our, our food and continue on our way. Okay. Let's eat a little bit of this. Aim this way so I don't place a torch by accident, huh? Okay. So we'll cook both the, the pork and the the lamb here. Mutton, I guess. Whatever it's called. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw away the copper. There. And let's go ahead and make a couple of things. Give me another stone axe. Give me a stone there. Perfect. Throw the mutton in now. And we'll make a couple extra torches as well, just to have those around. Save the cobblestone and the wood up here, and then I can use the dirt and the granite as I need to uh, build more up. In fact, let me uh. Let me take this mending shovel. I will have the mending shovel gain some experience to get it uh, mended. It's a real shame that the uh, golden items don't have like any durability. Very unfortunate. But at least that means that they'll uh, level up pretty quick. And it'd be cool if there was a mod that uh, increased your... Oh man, I wasted a charcoal app. It'd be cool if it was one that increased your... Uh... God, why am I blanking right now? What am I trying to say? It would be cool if there was a mod that when you like mind stuff, like cobblestone or dirt, if it gave you a little bit of experience. Even just like a little bit would be cool. No? It'd be pretty poggers. All right, now we got a little torch. And that'll help us uh, keep the area around us illuminated at least, thanks to the mod pack and the shaders and stuff like that. Now we don't have to worry too much about it being dark. Although we will want to actually do what we can, you know, still to make sure our area is illuminated. If we decide to set up camp, the monsters still will spawn. But we're getting good progress towards whatever is over there. Oh, look, it's a little, uh, I actually don't know what to call it. It's like, it's just a building, it looks like, with a, a guy over there. Do what he wants. Excuse me, sir. Nice little island you have here. Don't mind me. Just going to come take a look. Maybe take some things from you. What you got here? You got these barrels, bro. Okay. What is this? Like a like a pump? Yeah, that's weird. Interesting design, but I get it. Oh, we got some sticks. We got some string. Potion of Strength and Fire... Ooh, mm -hmm. that was a mending book right off the bat? Holy crap, that's great. Okay, so what is these, uh... What are the shards for here? I can make a spyglass, or I can make tinted glass. Which I'm not sure what tinted glass does. Does it just make it so that you don't have... Mm -hmm. I just want to look it up real quick. Minecraft tinted glass. What does it do? It blocks light while being visibly transparent. Okay. So if you wanted to, like, make a, a mob spawner that you could still see into, you could do that. Gotcha. That makes sense. So I don't want it. We'll take some feathers, though. 
and uh, blowing ink sack, ink sack. I'll take the stick. Want to be useful there. Item frame, drink. Actually, do ink sacks have a use other than like an item frame? Okay, that's what I thought. Oh, some gunpowder. There's paper here. I'll take some more string though. Got some more sticks here, some more string, a couple of books, and a power one. I'll take the power one for now, I guess. Mm -hmm. There's another floor to this? Nope, it's just a little observatory out there. Okay, that's cool. Mm. Right, all right. Mm. I think I've searched everything now. Where did the uh, villager go? Hey, guy, what you got? You want to sell a campfire for a book and quill? A yellow bed for some chests. Um, a bunch of copper for these. Actually, I think this is the same trade that you would give uh, all of the Vagabonds give. Think about it. Hmm. Okay, well, he doesn't have anything that I want right now. Not particularly. But what I can do is I can make bow right now. Really help out. And then... Is string used for anything else that's, like, important right now? I know I can make more wool from it, but I don't have a use for wool either. Uh, a lead if I had slime. So yeah, I don't really need string right now, so let's just put that away. Uh, let's take this bow, put it there. I'm actually going to eat the mutton first, since I have less of it. Help out there. Uh, now I just need some flint. I can make... Um, mm. arrows. Oh, speaking of, here we go. Some gravel. And I got one flint from that, okay. Maybe if I had a looting shovel instead, that would help us out, huh? You still can't make flint, right? Just purely one of those have to mine it kind of thing, right? I'm gonna sleep real quick. So I don't get drowned in stuff spawning around me. Although, I think you can't drown, just spawn, like, normally anyway. It doesn't have to be night since they're in the water, technically, right? Chop down this tree real quick. Because there are some barrels here that I can't see that might have some other stuff in them. So, would be helpful. Where is the... Come on, this one. Over here. These, like, extra leaves on the side of the leaves are, uh, kind of annoying, to be honest. It just makes it hard to see things. Okay. Got some extra logs. Got a little flint. I don't even know if it's worth me keeping this um, golden shovel with mending on it. It's probably not, if I'm being completely honest. I think I would better have better luck if I just uh, get rid of it. Because it just has such low durability. But like, even if it has mending, it's like this whole stack. and it, I, I mined like five there and it broke. So I don't think it's very useful to have. I'll just make a stone one. Now I will have a shovel. Okay. We got some flint from that, which is good. We have four, which makes us four arrows, right? Compounds. Is that nothing? Do I have to go that way? What? Am I, am I dumb? Do I not know how to make an arrow? Oh. It's just in a line like that. Four each. Not bad, not bad. Um, okay. We got some arrows now. Perfect. We can... Uh, Actually, do some ranged damage. And oh, a bundle! Oh my god. I actually have a freaking bundle. Really? Okay. Right click to add items. There we go. So a bundle's nice because you can put two items into a bundle, right? R right? No. That's not how it works. I forgot. You can put 64 items in. But you can put, like, for example, I want to put oak logs and 
pole in there. They can both go in there now. And then I can add more until it's like all that. So I can essentially combine them. I forgot how that stuff works. I'll keep this for now. I can always add stuff into it later. But right now, let me see how this area over here is coming along. All right, we're clearing this place out nice and easy. Good. Plant these trees here because no. That was just the one barrel. That's too bad. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to go back in here because I forgot to make a shovel. Mm -hmm. That shovel. Let's pile up this gravel again, see if we can get more of the flint. Actually, while we're up this high, anything cool around? Oh, we got a, a nice ice biome over there. Oh man, is that a? I don't think that's an igloo. No. There's the uh, nether portal we were at before. Okay. Making progress. Got three more from that. I need at least, I would like to get at least seven flint. That way we don't have to carry around worthless feathers. No? Come on. I wish the, uh, I wish you could make it so the, the right hand did not, like, do things, you know? With the left hand? Like, I don't want to place torches accidentally. You know what I'm saying? Got yeah, one flint out of that. Yeah, okay. A little more. I don't want to spend a whole great amount of time doing this, so I'm not actually getting any. I got none from that. Okay. We'll do it once more, and if we don't get any. Flint, we're, we're going to call it there for uh, doing this. Okay, we got a couple. The next time we don't get any flint, we will uh, call it. So we had nine this time. Oh, we got some flint there. Actually, I think that might be all we need, isn't it? Yep, we have more flint than we actually need. So open this baby up. Throw in the flint. Throw in the feathers. Throw in the sticks. And get ourselves some arrows. Yes. So now I can go ahead and toss this and uh, that in there. I'm also going to throw the gravel away because I don't need that. Get it back that way. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Mm. Now that we've done that, where's the sun? It's over there. Okay. So it's still a ways away. We got a little village here. Nice. Perfect. 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 We got some structures here and here. I think that's a witch's hut right there, actually, since it's in the swamp. Uh, I don't want to deal with that. That looks like a bad time. Honest? This also looks like it's uh, one of the generated structures that has bad things. I think we just want to go straight to this village. So let us actually make a boat. Mm. Doo -doo -doo. All right, boat time. I want to go straight across here and uh, reach our destination. Should I get kelp? It is a very good source of food early on anyway. This real quick. And surface. Oh, my time. I'll just hop on my boat. And we can go around and start collecting all of these stuff. You know, do a pass. I'm not going to worry about all of it, but I just want to get most of it. Go. And then one final swoop by this little area here. And we got it. I think we left like two behind there, so we made good progress. And we got a lot of it. Well, so that's, that's pretty good. I think the village was over here, right? Yeah, so it's like a, a perfect circle almost. 
is formed there of that biome ice. Very neat. Pumpkins over there. Fur forest. Oh my god, look at those thick trees over there. God dang. Run away towards the, the ice. Some polar bears over there. Got some fires and all that good jazz over that way. All right. Let us get off our boat and destroy it there. Perfect. Let's hop our happy butts over here to the village. Make sure it's not a pillager village. Yep, I see normal villagers. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Spruce logs, I'll take those. Emeralds, of course, taking those. Take your potatoes, but I don't want the bread. Actually, you know what? It's one bread. I'll take that one bread because I'm going to get hungry here in like a moment. I will take that. I'll just eat it here once I am actually hungry again. What have we got in here? Cartographer? Was there anything up here on this floor? There was, but basically just paper and a compass, which I don't think a compass can be used for anything else other than just a compass, right? Compass. Recovery compass. What's the recovery compass? I show your dead body, right? I think. Let me check. Recovery compass. Minecraft. Used to point the location of the player's last death, so it's useless in this game mode. Actually, I want those uh, sticks, please. Thank you. Okay. Down I go. All right. Hello, villagers. Do you guys want to trade anything? Wool. What about you? What do you want? You want coal and emeralds for a stone axe. Okay. Potatoes or emeralds for. Bread. That's not a bad trade, to be honest. Emeralds for bread. If you were short on food, that'd be helpful. What are you guys doing? Why, why are y'all jumpy over here, huh? Here we all. Another house over here. Let's check this one out first before I go back that way. Hello, sir. How are you? Do you trade things? You do not. You're a worthless villager. Okay. Actually, I think you're stuck there, aren't you? Let me open up that path for you. There you go. Darn. Okay. Back this way, then. I think the rest of these houses don't have any. Oh, no, never mind. More emeralds. Excellent. And more spruce logs. Not that I need the spruce logs, but... Look. Free stuff, free stuff, right? Hot chest. Um, more bread and sticks, huh? I don't need the bread right now. Oh, it's not too important. This village is a lot bigger than I thought at first. I think the uh, the wood land area was throwing off how big I thought it was. What we got here? Just a bed? How are we doing on daylight? Oh, it's almost night. That's great. Can I sleep yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Some looms here. That's the last area. Not a bed, though. Hold on. Excuse me, villagers. I need to use your bed. Now we can sleep. Not past the night. Perfect. Okay. By the way. Is that sugar cane? Hmm. I think I already checked that house, right? Let's check these two down here next, I guess. This is another one of these. More sticks, huh? This village must really like sticks. Mm. Yep. Over to this group of houses next. I feel like I haven't eaten for like a while now, right? 
Did I search that house? I think I did. Put a one, and we got pumpkin pie. Wow. You know what? I think I'll take this pumpkin pie instead of the bread. I'm gonna take the potatoes though. Thank you. Actually, I'm gonna also take these uh, spruce logs, but I have some anyway. Perfect, perfect. What the heck happened here? Oh. Third. Random table there. Oh, wait, please. There we go. Excuse me, villagers. Oh, we got some feathers and an emerald. If we had that flint still, we could have used it, but I believe we don't. Nothing really matters too much, to be honest. Ooh, we got some more potatoes, pumpkin seeds, more uh, spruce logs. And finally, <gasps> iron nuggies! Or ingots, not nuggies. I don't know why I said I'm going to take this iron shovel and replace it with my own. Um, and then... Well, actually, since I have this bundle, I can put oak logs and the spruce logs in here. And also the potatoes. And, uh... I'm going to go ahead and put... I can't put the books in. It'd be, I think it'd be overpowered if I could put the books in. That's fair. That is fair. Is there a way to switch which one you're, like, looking at? I guess not. It wouldn't be too easy, huh? So, question is, if I save those ingots, or if I make them into a sword. But I already have three gold swords, which do roughly the same amount. Was an iron sword, right? Let me look. Iron sword does six damage, so yeah, they do about the same. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, one damage isn't too much. So I think we'll hold off making that for now. But also, whilst we are here, forget it is kelp. Damn it, kelp. So, I can cook kelp, of course, obviously, um, or I can make kelp into a dried kelp block, and then I can uncraft it. Perfect. Okay, that's what I want to do. So, let me load up my kelp and my charcoal here, and actually, I'll make another furnace just to make this process go a little faster, huh? Why not? Me half of that, that in there, put that in there. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do all of this with the uh, the limited charcoal that I have, but at least I'll be able to get some. And if I can get a couple of blocks, that'd be great because if I can put them in block form, I can keep them. I can keep more in like a condensed area, you know. If I had 64 blocks of kelp, I could like take one at a time, convert it into dried kelp, and then eat that. Which, yeah, it only like heals one, or like I think it's 0.5 uh, hunger, but that's still good. If you think about it. You get 64 blocks of kelp times nine, that's 576. 576 uh, hunger you can do, which you divide it by the, uh, <clears throat> sorry, if you divide it by the 2, which would be the 0.5 that it does, it's 250? No. 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 280? Something like that, 280, which would mean worth 280 hearts. If you take 280 by, I think pork, for example, 
plus four hearts, so 280 divided by four would be, oh my god, math, 28 divided by four is, that's eight, right? No, seven. So that's 70, so yeah, uh, a block, or 64 blocks dried kelp is worth 70 pork chops in terms of how many hunger things it can heal. Which, you know, isn't a whole lot, but it is a decent amount. And actually, I'm gonna just get rid of the rest of this extra kelp that I have. I don't need it. Can I put food? Yeah, I can obviously, I can obviously put food in here if, you know, it picks the potatoes. Can I put a boat in here? Nope. I guess like individual entities I can't put in, but other stuff I can. How are we looking in terms of daylight? Just noon. Go back in here. We'll take a look at our next possible expansion. There's some sort of structure in the ice here. I want to check that out. I don't think it'll be anything useful, but it's still pretty cool. I really like, like this kind of biome right here, where it's like icy glaciers and stuff. Uh, but nothing else really around it. We just got swamp and trees and snow. Maybe we'll cross the snowy path next. And uh, I guess we'll just go there first and see what we can find if we decide to continue on or not. Takes forever to cook stuff, huh? Waiting in my hidey hole. You know, I, I could. I think I'll do that. I'm not gonna do that. Please, thank you. Let's grab the table down there. Okay. At least while we're waiting for stuff to cook down there. Ooh! I found some coal. Some actual coal, huh? Great. Amazing. Love to see it. Oh. Underwater cavern here, huh? Perfect. I think this is andesite, isn't it? Yeah, dorite, whatever. Well, <clears throat> I don't want to uh, continue mining down anymore. I was going to just get more stone so we had it, but the fact that I found diorite and water down there kind of killed my buzz for doing that. I'm just going to make all the coal I found into torches. Do that. Rest the kelp in there. I'll make all that I can into dried kelp blocks. Perfect. And is it that time? Grab our furnaces and our crafting table. Almost night. Find a house with a bed, shall we? Is it almost night? I think, yeah, it is. Okay. We got a clock. Clock would be very helpful. Got to be just on the horizon. I have time of day in this thing. Doesn't it? I don't think it does. Unfortunate. I guess it says day 
three, right near the bottom, in the middle, kind of. I don't know if we would say night three. Obviously not, since I just slept. So, cool. Okay. We're out. We're off this piece. Okay, let's go down. That one right? Yeah. Ooh, sandstone. All right, so we'll just continue down this way. This actually an igloo? There's a hole there. It looked like a house because there was like a hole for like a window, you know? Oh man, hit the water. I'm gonna die of hypothermia now. Right now, the plan for the food situation is uh, I'll eat this dried kelp because, like I said, it doesn't heal much. And I'll eat the pumpkin pie next when I have to, just because it quite a lot of it's filling, and I only have one of them. So, since I only have one, there's no point in holding it around forever. It'll free up that uh, necessary inventory spot for me, right? Trying to get around to that area because there was a structure there i definitely saw wood in the structure of it the question is what is, is it a shipwreck on the ice huh that's interesting i don't know how they managed to get a ship up there and crash it but works okay let's what? What? Why are you attacking me, sir? I thought polar bears were friendly. Not just hateful monsters. I can just build up, get out of his range. Yeah. Not so fancy now, are you? Huh? I would have just, like, died if he would have started climbing up. Oh, ice. Which is not great. Okay. Be kind of careful to make our way over here. Now, I have not memorized where the treasure chests are at in uh, these wrecks. And I'm going to have to destroy all of this ice, aren't I? There's one. I'm not sure if this layout of a wreck has two or not. I don't know if some have like multiple treasure chests. Some don't. Okay, well let's let's take these feathers for right now, just temporarily. And I'm just gonna eat this pumpkin pie now so we can regenerate our health. Let's look at the buried treasure map. So it's actually it's actually really close to us. That's that's surprising. Usually you have to like wander for ever in order to. But not this one, huh? Okay. Well let us get on top of this bad boy. I'll check to see if there's any more treasure chests here. Said. I don't think there's multiple in this type of wreck, but you never know. Actually, I think it's right here, yeah, because this is like the captain's cabin, ain't it? Yep, there's one right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. It could actually be kind of cool to, like, set up a base in here. But, like I said, there's nothing around this area. Hey, we got gold, we got iron, we got a diamond. We could make a diamond shovel. <laughs> All right. 
I don't really want to hold on to these nuggets, but I can put them into the bundle, which will help me out there. I can also put the emerald in there and the diamond and the gold. And we'll hold off the iron. Actually, no, I'm going to put the feathers away as well. Boop, there we go. All right. Nothing goes there. Okay, perfect. Actually, you know what? Let's get off a dried kelp. Get one of those out. I don't want to waste a mutton on getting enough health to regenerate there. Crouch under here. Nothing else here, right? That's the top deck after this. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's nothing else up here. Perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. And sneezes. Okay. Let's walk down this side so we don't get uh, aggroed by those bears again. What is... What is that? Stone structure down there? What? The hell? Oh, that's a drowned... Craptastic. Ah. Uh, that's how it's gonna be, huh? Usually these places have treasure chests at them sometimes. But I'm not all that well armored is the problem right now. Here's what we'll do. I don't know if there's a treasure chest in that one. Oof. This one's gonna be rough, ain't it? I see the chest right there, I think. Bunch of hole in the water here. I want a nice 4x4 four four so I don't have to worry about, you know, dying. Another tunic! Nice! Get this coal as well. Meow. Here we go. It's like a mice fishing. Get that tunic on. Oh yeah, brother. All right, let's move over to this one. I don't see anything yet. Okay. Gotta go. Gotta go. Brown's getting a little too close for comfort. Too. You want some of this drowned, huh? At least if I can hit them before they hit me, it'll be okay. Ah, crap, they're starting to swarm. All right, we're out. I don't want to deal with them. So, the treasure is just right here, which is actually a kind of bad spot for it, since uh, it's way underwater. So it's got to be right here. Ooh. Okay, that one piece looked like very obvious, so I wanted to one first. Air, sweet, sweet air. Okay. There was some food down there. I think that was all that was really important. What was left? Just food, yeah, cooked cod, salmon, a lot of breathing potions. We're drowned down there. Let me look at my inventory quick. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the dirt. Is it worth drinking a water breathing potion right now? I don't think it is. I do not think it would be. Peace, loser! 
Wait, I don't need the map anymore either. I can just drop that one. Let me kill this one. Yeah. Wouldn't it be some lucky like shit if I got a trident from one of these guys too? Normal drowned have a chance to drop drop a trident, right? It's just it's a very, very low chance. But the trident boys who actually have tridents, they have like a much better chance of dropping one. Well, that was a huge waste of a torch. I thought you go back to your watery grave, loser. Come on, come on. With a torch, thank you. Aha, I got it back. Uh oh. We are in night territory almost. I think if I go over here a little bit further, plop this down and sleep. Nice. As long as we're far enough away from the drowned, we're, we're, we're decent. Okay. But our inventory is getting kind of full, and that's not a great thing to have right now. Um, maybe let's return to the village. I can use some of the iron that I got to, like, break an iron chest plate or something. I don't know. Maybe the polar bears don't like the fact that I break ice. Is that their thing? They don't like when you break the ice? That would make sense, right? This is like you're damaging their home, essentially. Ooh, snow. I just love how like the ice area looks. Like it would be easier to like mine into the ice and make a, a home into them. I would do it in like a heartbeat, but it's just kind of impossible almost. Just because it takes I don't think there's anything that mines ice faster than normal, right? Look for one with a crafting table inside of it. Nope. I know there's a house somewhere that has a crafting table. Just eat some kelp and uh, get rid of it. Oh, we don't have to have it in our inventory. I forget how much cooked salmon uh, does. There we go. Here we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. You know what? Give me this slice of bread and I'll eat it right now. Perfect. Okay, give me the sound back. All right, so now we have 10 gold, or not 10 gold, 10 silver, iron. Oh my god, sorry, I cannot, cannot right now. I just cannot. Can I put potions in here too? No, darn. That'd be too easy. Okay. So. Got any sword? Yeah, got a gun. I got a, a couple of swords here. Not that I've used them very much. I'll try to stay out of trouble here. So what, what do I have right now? I have... I need boots. But the one thing I really need is a shield. And so I think we go with a shield because that'll help us more than anything, to be honest. Yeah, the shield. We can block arrows. We can block creepers killing us. It's just limitless potential is what we got for the shield, right? That leaves us with nine. But I could make another chest plate, which I'll take out all but one. But I need boots. I think we'll make some boots. Some iron boots there. Um... I guess we can make some pants from the reps, right? I don't have enough. Um, I can make a helmet. Bit. That's two armor. What's the gold do? Two armor. So there's no real increase there. So I might just save the iron until we need it. That way I can make literally anything, um, including a pickaxe. I do need an iron pickaxe. But, let's see. All right, for now, let's sort our inventory. Get rid of the gravel. Let's... I think that's all I want to get rid of right now. I can... make a couple more torches to get rid of the coal that I have. 
Nice. Okay. Now then, where should I go next? Looks like there's mountains or something over that way. Uh, what if I just keep going to the uh, the west there? Seems like it would be a, a good place for now. We're, we're about noon time, so we we should be good. It would be really cool if you could make like a uh, um what are they called a lantern shield. Like a shield that has a life source in it. That'd be cool. But there's a mod for that somewhere. There has to be. Like, people like lantern shields. The people who like lantern shields really like lantern shields. But like, there's no doubt in my mind that someone who likes lantern shields is a Minecraft modder. Has made a mod for it, right? Got some mountains over there. This. And just barely make out. Oh god, there's another structure over here too. I also want to look at that one too. I think it looks cool. Okay, there's a hundred percent chance that those places will kill us if we go there. But I just want to look at them. Because, uh, while they look like fortresses. Oh my god. While they look like fortresses, uh, they they do look pretty neat. And I don't know. Maybe they'll be friendly or something. You know? Who who knows? Who can tell? Maybe they'll be ran by villagers or something. Um, while I'm here, might as well grab this coal. What I'd really like to find is a, a village that has like a blacksmith in it so I can get a free anvil. And then I can make uh, use of this, this mending and this power book. Oh, I guess it takes levels for that. But I could just set up shop in the village for a while. And then uh, gain levels that way. Okay. Yoink, and then let's just mine out here. Perfect. All right, continuing on. What is is that a another portal over there? By the way, it might be. I cannot make out if that's a good thing or a bad thing yet. It looks like it's just a tower with like. Structures to keep off snow around it. I don't see any anything over there. That's what's kind of concerning. The fact that nothing's there concerns me a lot. At least I have a shield so I can, you know, drive against an arrow attack or two. Oh, or just break my legs there. I think those are bad boys up there. Yep, that's a skeleton guy over there. Those guys are wearing iron armor. Some sort of monster hobble, it looks like. Okay, well, I can ignore them and just kind of go around here to the nether portal. Also, it, it's very fitting that there's a monster base next to in the nether portal here. I just want to take a, a nice wide breath of that place for now. I do not want to get sniped and just die immediately. I just realized something. I have two diamonds, right? Yep. Oh, baby. All right, keep the salmon. Salmon heals at least three. Which is clear. Ooh, we got Death Strider and the Silk Touch Axe. I don't, I don't think we have a use for a Silk Touch Axe. More Iron Nuggets, though. Can I? I don't think it's worth it right now. I was thinking if I could melt down gold into nuggets, I could take those with me, but I'm not sure if I can do that with... Enchanted stuff, I'm not going to do it. Um, works actually, that's perfect. All right. Yeah, okay. 
Let's go and continue on to the next area we saw, which, uh... Oh, is that actually a village? Oh, is this another village too? Oh boy! Two villages? This doesn't look like a village, actually, now that I'm looking at it. It looks like something kind of bad. But... Oh man, I don't like this. On the map, I see red dots, but there's also the blue dots of those villagers there as well. Oh, man. I have a forgotten field, an old field that is filled with serenity and poppies, and also locate one of the graves. What does that mean? What does it mean, locate a grave? Is this the grave? Is this the grave? I don't... The snow is making it hard to tell what's what here. Same with these bushes. There's definitely got to be a reason why this is... ...sealed like this. There's something in here, I know. No doubt about it. It's a cube. Even if I mind out the outsides, I wouldn't get into it right. I don't have enough diamonds for a pickaxe. Okay. Well, let me... What is this? I saw these before somewhere else. Okay, so there's this here. Let me look around a little more. Hey, bud. Do you sell things? You do, but I'm going to sleep real quick. Oh, I guess you want to sleep into sleep. Bottle of enchanting. A letter. How do I get a letter? What is a letter? Mm. Apparently it's nothing. Okay. And there's emeralds for poppy. Poppy and bottled enchantings for a memento that's a poppy. Oh, I think... I'm gonna sleep. Poor monster spawn. Go, 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 go! <laughs> let, me, let me look at your stuff one more time here, sir. Okay, so if I get the let me have an empty hand here. Let me look around. So we have this is encased in obsidian. We have whatever the heck this is. Flower pots. Found a head. Some paper. Some more nuggets. Found a poppy and an emerald. Couple of lanterns. Mm. Hey, do I have a player head? I don't. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it back. I don't want this. Give me that emerald. Okay. So, are all of these grave things covered in obsidian? Mm. They are. Okay. I feel like there's something here. Yeah. Is that a bunch of iron, by the way? It looks like iron. Is this like an iron golem thing? I'm gonna take the iron, I don't give a shit. But, uh. Interesting. I guess it's because there's a pop in there. Okay, let's let's throw this poppy on the ground. I don't need it. Or that. Or that. There we go. Blocks of iron. Okay. I have enough iron to make full iron now, at least. I think. Wait a second. So there's vines. That's clearly a memento. There's iron ingots. Iron. What happens when I put one down? Oh. Oh no. So I need to put what is on the thing into one of these and it does something? Is, is that what this is? Okay, so let's put two of these down. And then I'll break these into ingots, right? Okay. Actually, let me, let me like look down. I'm gonna put down a workshop kind of area here real quick. 
I've got a crafting table, furnaces. Not that I need the furnaces or anything, but just for right now. Darn, one ironing is short. That's too bad. Okay. Wait, what? I just had. Okay. That, need that. Um. I don't have enough room for all this right now. Go to the boat. Okay. The diamond's back in there too, shall we? Okay. But then it wanted two of these. And I also want to make some shears, because if I have shears, then I can get these vines. The vines, I can put them there. Do that. So all I need now is that memento. It means I have to trade with this guy, right? Where did he go? Over here. Under the map, right? Poppy seller? Mm -hmm. To get memento, I need a poppy and a bunch of bottles of enchanting, which means I need to use a bunch of iron ingots mm -hmm. and those. Or a letter. Mm -hmm. So can I find letters somewhere? Mm -hmm. I think I need to use a memento for thing. Mm -hmm. Huh? Okay. So maybe I need to get inside these in order to get letters or something? Mm. This is this is fascinating. I really want to figure out what this does, but I don't think I have the materials to do so. More iron block stuff. Each of these graves seems to have various things here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oops, not that. That one? Okay. I'm so curious what is happening here. That was four, right? Yep, that's four. Mm -hmm. Come on out, zombie. Yeah, come on. Aha! Correct. They each have a poppy inside there. Gonna kill this guy before the villager dies. Can't have him die. Or else I can't get the memento. I don't have... That's the problem. I don't have enough of that. I need to find the mementos somehow. Let me just explore around a little more. We have flower pots and we have lanterns. Is there anything, like, near the graves, maybe? Or we're supposed to be in, like, a snow biome. I was hoping there may be a treasure chest or something down there, but it looks like not. So I can get plenty of poppies. The poppies aren't a problem. Um, I could just break into here, but if I did, I feel like it would not be helpful. Strip the wood, is it not? I think I've got all the iron that I can get from this place. None of the other poppies I'm seeing around are glowing. And everything else looks like it is. Mm. Like, uh... Yeah, just... Yeah. 
I was thinking maybe there was like an order to open these where I did not need a poppy, but they all need a poppy. Mento. Okay, so let me, um, real quick. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir? Poppy seller? Mm -hmm. So I need to get either a letter or iron and three emeralds to get a bottle of enchanting. Which is just absolutely insane. Um, absolutely insane. Or I need three letters to get that. But I can't even search for a meta or a letter. It just does not do anything. Um, so what I need to do right now, I need this guy to be safe. So, uh, sir, can you uh, stop moving for a second, please? Please, just mm. stop moving for a second. <clears throat> sir. Sir, please. I'm gonna try to box him in so he's uh No! Stop, sir! Stop! I need you to stay safe, sir. Oh my god. I'm not gonna have enough of this. Ugh. No, no, you jerk. Uh, come here, boat. Okay, maybe I can do this. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. Go in the hole. Are you too good for your hole? It's getting to be night again. Oh, perfect. Here, I can use this opportunity. So I'm going to put this here and here, and then here, 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 here. Build a nice little grave for him in this area. Dirt, I don't want to not give him any space to move around, you know. That. That. This. That. That. And then uh, I also need to place down my bed and sleep real quick before stuff starts spawning. Sleep to sleep. I don't receive checkpoint. Blind a player head. I don't know what that exactly means, but at least he is trapped in there now and uh, cannot get out. But I need to give him an uh, overhead area or else... Oh, wait, I can't do that. <clears throat> One higher. There we go. Mm. Need to make sure that monsters can't just drop in on top of him, you know? Mm -hmm. There we go. Alright, you just stay in your hole so I can use you later. Um, because the golem looks a little bit broken, to be honest. And, uh... Bad. All right, let's head to this village next. So I want to keep this area here in mind. We will go to this village, see if there's anything we can trade to get a bunch of emeralds, and also use a crafting bench to actually make some extra stuff for us, you know? And after that, I think we find a cave, and we try to go find some diamonds. If we get diamonds, we can mine into those. What I assume are some sort of Obsidian, like, grave sites or something. Also, there's a little igloo here I want to look at. Hello. Anything down here? Nope, okay. That's a thing. All right. <clears throat> okay. 
cave entrance there. Not sure if it'll help us at all, but you know, it could. You never know. It helps us get a little bit lower so we don't have to start digging straight down and stuff. Okay. Village starts right up here. Get up there further. <clears throat> this village is not a very bad area, huh? See more poppies around. Hey, little guy. Okay. I need to find some people to trade with and see what they want. Hey, sir, you got anything? Hello. You want leather? Okay. I can maybe set up a cow farm if we have cows around. That wouldn't be too hard for me. A couple other here. You just want emeralds. You're greedy. Nothing else really in here. Okay. I might use this house as my, my base camp. Very big, nicely sized house. What about you, sir? You want clay? Okay. I could maybe find some clay. That'd be pretty cool to do. Got any other things around here? There's one over here. Yes. Everything's going to be inside of it, though. We got nothing here, okay. What a smoker. It was. Okay. Back to the main area of the village. I really don't like how close it is to that place, though. Uh, that place makes me nervous. Could they be living in igloos up here? Is that what these are? Little uh, igloo house. Look how they are. Adorable. Adorable. Okay. What about this house up here? Oops. I uh, got some potatoes. My bad. Mm -hmm. You, sir. You just want emeralds? That's not great of you. Doesn't mean your damn house either. How about this house here? Nothing. House here? Nothing. Ooh. We got a, a nice big house up here. What is it? It's a cartographer. Okay. Well, I also have paper. I don't know if I can use paper to turn it into stuff or not. Okay. Well, it looks like it's everything except for maybe that little area there. A little uh, icy snow house. Take a look at it. It could potentially have something. It does have something. Beetroot seeds, snowballs, potatoes, breaded. Cool. At least it has something. It's not like nothing, you know. Farmer down here. Missed him. The farmer. You want potatoes and carrots or emeralds, huh? What are these? Potatoes? Okay. Okay, okay. See you know what you're putting down? Let me, uh, let me throw these away. I have some potatoes, my friend. Don't you worry. I think what I'll do is I'll make a potato farm. Mm. That way I can sell potatoes. I don't see any cows around, which is unfortunate. Uh, if there were cows, I could. <clears throat> if there were cows, I could use them to get a source of leather, but speaking of potatoes, oh my golly. All right, so I guess our house is going to be over here. I'm also going to chop down this tree because it's, it's kind of blocking my view that I would like to have. You guys get out of my house, please. Okay. I'll use this chest for right now. Store the stuff that I uh, want to keep in here and all that good jazz. 
keep the potatoes out for now. Personal strength, water breathing. I'll keep one water breathing potion just in case we have a, an underwater area anywhere. Uh, I don't think this place has a bed in it, does it? Nope. Bed goes here. Crafting table does not, so... Where did I put my crafting table at? I didn't set it down, did I? Ah. I must have. Okay, well, I'm going to throw this stuff off here. I don't need that right now. Not that setting my spawn does anything. But that's okay. Withdraw all my materials. I just have a normal bundle. I'll go ahead and toss everything that I don't really need right now into here. Okay, I need the shears right now. I'm gonna need the stick to make a uh, <clears throat> oh. Okay, perfect. Uh, I guess I gotta make a crafting table. I don't know where mine went. Where got I picked them up? Okay, so that goes there. Let's make a hoe. R. Perfect. And then I'd also like to... You know what? Give me all this. Fence. I'll just use up all my stuff to make a fence. Throw this stuff back in there. Alright, so here's the plan. Step one. Make an area that is nice and flat for farming. Step two, plant that farm. And then step three, I guess maybe step two is uh, going to be fencing it off, first of all. That way the villagers can't get in there and harvest it and uh, ruin my, my job. Does this work? Yeah, it does work. <laughs> I forgot a vanilla Minecraft did that, where you could like just jump around, and it would uh, save where you were last, like mining at. Where was that dirt? I didn't put any dirt in here, right? Okay. I'd have been like, what the hell is wrong with me if I did? Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's do this. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I just thought of something. Mm -hmm. It's... Ah, it's winter. Mm -hmm. The water I put down is going to freeze. That's not great. I'll have to put a torch next to it, which will limit things. All right, so let's just go ahead and start building here. Out of the way, tree. We can do that. And then I can also build over to here and over to here. I heard a zombie, no, I don't like that. To bed I go. Okay, excellent. Do you think 11 fences is enough to finish that place off? Maybe. If necessary, maybe a little bit smaller too, that's fine. Shoot the shovel, what am I doing? Oh yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, perfect. Give these snowballs and just yeet them into the air. Perfect. Okay. I just need a little more 
dirt, so let's combine some of that. I also need to get a bucket so I can put down some water. Okay, this should be enough to finish off a little farm area. We'll just start by planting potatoes here. <clears throat> and when I say finish off my uh, little farm area, I mean, uh, of course, just manage to surround it with walls, just, just barely. Aw, oh, man. I have one extra. Hate to see. Oh, yeet. Okay. Perfect. So let us just light it up a little bit. That way, we don't have a bunch of mobs spawning in it and all that and jazz. Okay. <clears throat> then, a little more dirt. Okay, so that should be able enough to put that up. I'm gonna make it so I can just pop it normally. Okay. And then, let's take out. One Three, four, five, six. Two, three, never mind. I'm not gonna waste. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not gonna waste iron on that. Also, speaking of, I'm gonna go delving deep into the underground area. I should have full iron. So let's do that now. Is that on? that back there. Right there. I'm going to keep the golden crown simply because it has thorns on it, so that'll come in handy a little bit, I suppose. Put that away. All right. Wait. Next, I'm going to mine up a two-by-two two area. Mash this. Oh, this does not become water. Oh, no. I thought for sure it would. Um, that water up here. Let's see? I guess there's like, some water over here that I can just do it with. Barely any water. I'm gonna, sorry, man. I'm taking your water so we can make infinite. Okay? All right. One. I'm packed to get more. And here's the second bucket. Perfect. Oop. And there we go. All right, perfect. So I'm gonna eat this salmon there. You know, I actually think I will make a, uh, a real quick path to that farmer. Because I don't want to have to keep walking back and forth. And it'll also give him access to come over to our little area here. So he's not all lonesome and stuff, you know. He also doesn't have anywhere to hide, so that's bad too. Should have just done this to get dirt. I don't know why. I was mining random stuff. Whatever. Let's uh, let's also take this tree down. It's kind of in the way. Seems like we're setting up shop in this base or this this village for now. Seems to be the plan. Okay, so three leaves. There we go. Okay, sir, um, I'm going to build you, real quick, a house over here. You have somewhere to hide at night. Because I think you're going to be my primary trading partner. Because you're the only one in this village who actually has anything to trade with. Okay. 
Start up here. It's gonna be just a very simple little area. Go. Use that. I'll go ahead and hand it over further. Crap, I ran out. Ugh. We have some extra wood over here. In my uh, my house, excuse me, is. Take all my wood, build it. Kill his bed. I can give it to him. Ooh, uh, roofs, huh? Oop, that should be enough. That should be more than enough, actually. So, we'll do this, that, that, then more here so I can do that, 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 and then go on this side. And then I can make a, uh, make a crafting bench out of that. Let's set that over here, and set his bed down here. Be nice and remove the snow for him. Porch there. Porch out here. We'll make a nice little door. There we go. So he can come down here and relax. Also, just build up this wall here just so it's not stone. Why don't we also make this a nice floor for him as well? And just make it wood as well. You will have one different colored uh, roof tile, but that's fine. There you go. There's your house, sir. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to go to the here. Where'd he go? Did he frolic away already? Whatever. All right, so now I can just build my own stuff. Get rid of all these plants, no bulbs that I don't need. OK, perfect. He, he's he's good now. Mm -hmm. I gave him a house of his own. Mm -hmm. What I can do now is focus on finishing mm -hmm. up this area. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. each bucket of water has a seven, four block radius on each side, right? Mm -hmm. So, if I put it in the middle, one, two, three, four, good enough. Okay, do it right here. Is that down. However, I need to place a porch there so it doesn't freeze. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I can just go four, four, mm -hmm. three, four, four, three, three, two, one, two, and two, 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 two. I think that's enough, right? One, two, three, yeah, that'll work. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. And sure, for now, I can't you know, do the whole thing, but I can do most of it, which is what matters. Also, just to see, I'll do that because the water can't spread all the way over here. I will be able to tell. But if it can saturate the ground, that means I can expand a little bit further. But for now, that's all we got to do. All I want to worry about. I want to build another one of these here. That. Build that right there. And then let's build a chest as well. On top of that, fine. Put the hole away. And then I think we're good. So let's just jump over the fence, go in here, put away all of our goodies. Don't need. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. God. Okay. 
Well, we need to sleep now anyway, so... Get out of my bed! Mm -hmm. My bed, sir. Luckily, when I'm in the village, I can just pass time so nothing attacks the villagers. During the day, I'm lucky. Alright, so we'll score that, that. Give me one more stick. And we'll also take my diamond here. Oh, right. I don't have a iron pickaxe. You know what? Let's just take all of the sticks. All of them, all at once. Go. Okay. Why did I only take two iron? Oh my god. I'm just like out of it right now. All right, so. Iron pickaxe, so I can, of course, mine the diamonds. And then I'll also just make another shovel for when this one inevitably, inevitably breaks. Perfect. And my water breathing potions in case I need to go underwater. I've got my torches. I've got my food ready. I got a golden apple in case I really need to heal badly. I've got my golden sword, which will last a little bit. In fact, you know what? No, I still got a couple golden ones. Let's do that. I'll take them all with me. Just in case. I'm going to fill up this bucket of water. Okay, I got the shield. got the torches. got my little bag of goodies that I don't have anything in. got the diamond. All right. I believe it is time to go on our first mining excavation area. So, we get it. I'm going to start by making a fairly safe path down here to actually go down and then... get to the uh, that huge cave that we saw down there. Use the dirt that I mined to make it, and then I can, of course, place some torches here to light up the, the way to get back up. So I don't forget. And I think it was. Was it right here? No, it was over here, right? I just want to remember how to get back up the way without having to, like, do excess nonsense. Okay. That should be good. I think it was right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And yeah, I said big cave, but it, it's not that big. But whatever. Let's put a torch there so I have that marked out. All right. Wait, is this is this quartz? I thought that hurt when you step. Or no, this is a a new new block. What is this called? It is the dirt stone block. Right. God. So let's start by heading on down. Now wait. Okay. I think I actually want to place that there, and let's place that there, because I just want that out of my inventory for now. I'm not a fan of how this area has been generated yet, but that's okay for now. For now, our goal is to try to get as deep as possible. And uh, right now we are at 61. If I open up my fancy full uh, Minecraft ore map, I know that diamonds are down at 8 and lower. The lower we get, the more that they happen to be there. But they also have way, way, way reduced ore exposure, which is also bad. Okay. When we get down to eight, so we have to go way, way, way deeper. Okay. Or coal here. I'm getting coal so I can make more torches if I need to. And also so I can smelt any iron and stuff that I get here. But also the experience is not bad for when I am able to make a uh, an anvil or find an anvil 
and of course make my my mending stuff in the book and the power one for the bow and all. Hopefully our uh, our mini-map in the upper left here will be able to give us some sort of early warning about any potential monsters that would be around us so we can easily take them. Let's just leave back up. I don't want to deal with that right now. I want to go further down. Plan. Anything up here, just copper, huh? Okay. That. Go. Okay. In fact, let me just swap out the torch with the shield for right now. Uh, there's nowhere further down to go here. Is that is that what I'm finding out? Is this just a huge dead end? Or maybe not. Maybe not. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so we'll have to use our water breathing potion now. Okay, Let's go. We don't have time to waste mining anything that is not important. We just got to go all the way down as far as we can. Do what we can get, see if there's any air pockets, and if there's not an air pocket, create one uh, inevitably for us. Oh my god. Those are some huge freaking hikes. We got about three minutes of air. Anything further down here? Nope. Okay, well, there was this area up here. It was just a. Uh, there was nothing in it. Great. That is what you like to see. Well, did not really need to use the uh, water breathing potion for this area. I thought we would have more, or at least lead to an open chasm. But for now, let's just use it to mine this iron ore. We need a lot of iron ore. Without the iron ore, we're not going to make much of a splash with, you know, all of our stuff. Okay. That's about all we're going to find here. So the question is, do I want to get to the lowest point here and mine inward to stop the flow of water and then <clears throat> sort of make a path? What? Is this cobblestone or what is this? It is andesite. Okay. I'm just going to mine in here. Until I can breathe. Perfect. Okay. So I might as well start stocking up on copper. Why not? At some point, I can maybe make a cool roof with it or something, I guess. Or maybe make a copper lightning rod, whatever it is. I don't really need it though, so I'm not gonna go out of my way to mine like the, the corners and stuff. But it appears to be some sort of tunnel in front of me, perhaps. Hard to tell elevation with this map, whether or not there's like stuff like a side or where, but it could also just be the same cave I was at before. But All right, water breathing potion is off now, so I'll have to be pretty careful. What does this do? We got some more iron over here. <coughs> I'm going to place a torch here, to be honest. That way we don't have uh, monsters bottom behind me. As would be not very great. All right, that's just okay.
Right now we're sitting at 32. I'm going to go a little bit further forward. I see a bat flying around. You can tell by the erratic nature of the uh, blue diamond and never left there. But... Okay. We're on to this one already. In fact, maybe I just stop and make... I didn't bring a crafting table. Oh my god. So unprepared. So I don't know if this uh, lava is above or below me. Bad. this to kind of expand my view here. Not there for now. What are those settings for the uh, mini-map? Okay, well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back. I did not expect to. Uh, you know what? Yeah, screw this. This is a. Uh, this is pointless. I have to go through a water cave every time I go mining, that's just annoying. And I need to bring a crafting table too, so I can actually do stuff. This is not a bad looking cave. Water down there, huh? Yeah, but how do I get out now? Oh boy. I guess if I just keep mining up this way, I can get out eventually, huh? Maybe I'll just do the usual thing and uh, kind of strip mine or something. Where am I at now? Well, I'm somewhere at least. Okay. Freedom! But. It's night. Bad. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh my god, an ice spike biome. I love those. Let's just drop down there. Ouch. Almost leave it in here? Yeah, okay. I figured. I'll go to my house. Since I want to use my resources anyway. That's a zomboy. <clears throat> Move me, please. Thank you. Hey, the golem got him. Nice. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and just store what I found so far today. Um, I'll just fill the rotten flesh, whatever. And then let's take that. Make another crafting table. And I'll store this coal. Okay. This water bottle I don't need. I'll take this other water breathing potion just in case. All right. One, two, three, four. We'll make four pickaxes. So I can save the iron one for when I actually find diamond. 
Okay. There we go. Perfect. Actually, you know what? I want to make a bunch more torches. I think. Go. This should be way more than enough. For the extra ones in here. All right. So here's what we'll do. Let's take all of our planks, convert them all into sticks. And then let's make a bunch of ladders. 27. So right now I'm at what? I'm at 93. So to get down to zero, I at least need 93. Four of them, right? Which I'm not going to make that. Here I have 51. So if I go down to 60, I could use them. But yeah, I feel like that's not going to be enough for me here. Hold on. I guess I'll just cut down some more trees then. That's probably the best bet thing to do here. Because even if I go down to, air quotes, ground level here, it's still 72. And I only have 51 there, so I need like a lot more. That's what we'll do today. We'll chop down trees today. Yeah. All this just to figure out like what that structure is. That's crazy. I really want to figure out what it is though. Build himself a good mystery. This foliage really gets in the way, don't it? Okay. A few. I need seven per ladder, right? So it gives me three for each seven. So I have. 30, almost, almost another 60, right? I think that's how that works. Those are just two stacks. Let's go for one more tree. I do want extra sticks as well, so that's... Okay. <laughs> Should be good now. I'm going to go... Down to the ones that we've already chopped down because they might have dropped some sticks. Okay, I'm gonna grab all these. Perfect. Let's head back up here. We'll make our ladders. Double check everything. We'll head down to the uh, area down there and uh, just check things out. Okay. Boop, boop, and then boop. Okay. First of all, we got a stack there. Honestly, I need to go to... Because the further down we go, up until negative 64, we get a lot. So 64 to go from 0 to 64, and then like another 
what, like another 70 to get down to zero. So mm -hmm. basically two stacks of ladders is what I need here. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll do that. We have this stack of ladders in case we need more. Mm -hmm. I got all this stuff perfect. I got my torches. Mm -hmm. Potatoes are growing. Excellent. Let's real quick just eat a uh, mutton shop here. Perfect. All right. I think we're good now. At least for right now. And I think what better place to do it than at this little igloo over here, where not only does it have a bed, but it's indoors, so we're safe. OK. <clears throat> So as normal etiquette would go, we're going to do a, a nice little two by two hole here, or two by one hole, I mean. That way we have one side that'll be ladders, and we'll have one side that'll have just a straight drop, just a straight drop down into where a bit of water will be at. That way we can go as far down as we can without too much trouble. All right. Let's go. Actually, I want to put the ladders on this. Perfect. I'll make sure I always have just enough to, uh, I'll put that. Lower. There we go. I have just enough space so I don't have to worry about it. Okay. And it really doesn't matter to put the uh, the torches on the wall here. It just helps to uh, illuminate and show how much has really gone on, you know. And with any luck, I won't run into any bad places, like caves, while I'm doing this. And by doing a two by one, the great thing is that I don't have to worry about falling into a pit of lava or anything like that. I can just, you know, go down my way. And uh, you put ladders down now. Right now we are at 46, so we're getting there. Well, this was concerning. There's water. Let me just plop. Okay. That's fine. We can just use some diorite and plug up this hole. There we go. Easy. Now I can continue. Have the granite. That's fun. I almost don't like it when I run into the ore veins like coal and stuff when I'm trying to just get down as quickly as possible, you know? Because I have to like redo the walls and everything. Pretty good ore vein right here. Where are we at? 35? Yeah. And we're way down. A little bit surely. All you can really do, you know. Now, let's go down here and finish up this little area, and we can seal off the places we don't want to uh, be open. 
I don't have to worry about lighting them up because even if monsters spawn like in these little pockets, it, it doesn't really matter too much because the uh, I guess it just doesn't matter because they can't get into the actual tunnel area. So that's all that matters. Okay, we even get some iron here too, so that's pretty cool. All right, so let's make ourselves whole. So we know where we want to be. Plug the rest up. Diorite. I'll go ahead and place a, a torch down there since we've come this far. Excellent. The nice thing about diorite is that it doesn't like clash with the walls of the cave or the tunnel, I guess, because if you put down cobblestone, it, it's it's cobblestone, so like it's gonna be obvious that there was like stuff that happened there. Like, obviously, there was a uh, cave wall that you filled in. You know. There we go. And down. At some point, we're going to reach the deep, dark slate area. Guys, yeah, a little concerning, but at the same time, that's okay. I just uh, want to be careful if we do get to those areas, because then, of course, the warden can come, and that's when all hell can break loose. If he gets summoned, because I don't think we're ready to take on the warden at all. I've never fought him, so uh, concerning. Oops, did not mean to take a screenshot there. Whatever. Yep, we're getting to be that point, aren't we? Where the walls are angry at us. At least we're getting uh, some more iron. And so those other tomb areas that we were looking at before needed the... Uh, Iron blocks, and we use some of that. Nice to actually have extra. So. All right, we are at level seven, so we could see some diamonds showing up any time now. Uh, I'm just really concerned about going into the deep dark area. And here we go. Here's the deep slate. Okay. Well. Shall we? Ah. The noise it makes when you cut into it is just so bizarre. Yeah, that's weird. I think if we can get, if we run into a cave, it's not a big deal at this point, because that would sort of help us, um, since we can see, you know, if there's any diamonds around quite easily without having to strip mine, you know. So it would almost be in our fortune to find a an open cave right about now. That's some tough. Okay. I like I kind of like tough because it's easier to mine through, quicker to mine through anyway. Slowly but surely making our way down. At least want to run out of ladders. Once we run out of ladders, I can work on doing other stuff actually strip mining or finding a cave nearby or something like that. Currently at negative 20. So we're, we're still going down. And like I said, the, the further down we go, the higher the chance of us finding diamonds because it's like a uh, triangle that gets bigger at the base the further down you go in terms of how much you can find. If you look at the ore generation map for uh, 1.19 and whatnot, 
You barely get any diamonds up at level, uh, like, 8 or whatever. I guess it's not 8, it's like, uh, is it 16? 16 and whatnot is when you start seeing diamonds. But the further down you go, the higher chance you can get them. But diamonds also have reduced air exposure, so that's why strip mining comes in handy a lot. Emerald. I'm pretty sure I need a diamond pick. Not a diamond pick, a uh... Whatever the hell this pick... Wait, was that a diamond? It was a diamond. Oh. I did not expect that. Okay. It, it looked green to me, so I, uh... Whatever. I actually want to mine a little bit around where I got this diamond, because sometimes, like I said, right there, the diamonds like to kind of go diagonally from each other. So it is possible that they aren't necessarily, you know, touching one of the main faces. Perfect. I can now build a diamond pickaxe and a diamond shovel or diamond boots not that anyone would want diamond boots but you know i never know how far to go when i'm doing this though that's the thing i don't know how far i should go around the diamond before i uh say okay there's no more diamonds we're just gonna do that We get two diamonds, so it's not bad. We, we made our objective was uh, get enough to make that diamond pickaxe. But while we're just still going down, we can still, you know, hopefully find more. That'd be nice. Okay. Go and 14 more ladders, right? Yep, don't have any extras. And we're currently at negative 46, so we're getting there. Okay, there's a torch. And ladder up. Go. Do E. Three, gonna start counting now. One, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, and that's as far down as we can go with the ladders we currently have. And actually, I think that's as far down as we can go because that's bedrock. That looks like bedrock. Okay, so. Ignore that. Actually, let's get a couple layers up from bedrock, to be honest. I had two ladders left, but that's fine. Then we can put our water bucket here. We can just fall down right into the, uh, the water when we want to. And then what I like to do is rather than dig up this whole area, um, I'll just kind of dig around the ladder quick first. That way I have the ladder support pillar open. Then I have an area I can go behind to actually start strip mining and stuff. Right, so right now we are on 58. Which is pretty down far. Um, I don't know if maybe I want to go up a little higher maybe? Because I think... Iron stops around 56. If I go up higher, I have a chance of also getting iron. At least large iron veins are they end around 56. So if I go right about here, to be honest.
Oh, yes, it's going to take a little bit to actually. If I just go down here, can I hit that one? Yep. But first, let's put a torch back here so nothing spawns there. And I can get in here and do my little thing again. Okay, we have our platforms ready. So this area is uh, 54, which should still put me in the area where iron spawns. And it looks like there's like a cave with lava in it down that way. Let's start heading this way, shall we? And we'll just see if we can find anything. And one thing I learned from a streamer that I watch play Minecraft is every so often, you want to look to the right and left and just dig as far as you can. Doing this, you'll be able to see there's nothing there. And by doing as such, you'll be able to be like, oh, okay. So there's you know, no diamonds or iron or whatever you're looking for down on those sides. So you can go ahead and continue looking down here. It's just It just adds a little extra when you're strip mining. So... You know, you could probably do them a little closer, too. Like, if you really wanted to, you could do it every two. Because, or, you know, actually, no, you could do it every, like, you could skip two and then do one here, for example. That way you have visibility of these blocks this way and all that. But I'm not that too crazy about, you know, doing that, spending a lot of time mining. Instead, I'm just doing this. It's a little bit simpler, and it does open up quite a lot. So. Nothing. And we'll go to the other side. And we'll probably also have nothing here. I really am unlucky when it comes to strip mining. Whereas I don't, like, find anything, you know. <laughs> just my luck. I just make sure to place torches every so often, because I don't think heaven works here, right? Where's it up nine? Okay. What did I do? What does that button do? What does that 11 do? Can you see that? No. Kind of, I guess. The screen flickered a little bit when I hit F11. I don't know what it does. Just like reload chunks or something, maybe? We got some redstone. I will take some of that. The redstone also has a, a very high chance of spawning the lower you are. Which, uh, is helpful. It looks like lapis and gold also has a decent chance to spawn down at this level, but not too high of a chance, unfortunately. Oh. Yeah, and there's no way you're getting any coal down here. It looks like no coal generation comes from down here at all. Uh, emeralds actually stop. Why am I doing that? Here? Emeralds apparently stop at around 16, or negative 16, I mean. So that's not... I, I, I messed up. Going forward when I didn't need to. Nothing. Oh! We hit the lava area. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. I can go ahead and plug up this lava. <gasps> there we go! Let's, uh cover this up as best we can right now. I don't want to... Oh my god, I forgot to fill up my bucket of water. Sucks. Okay, so let's, for now, put that there. And I'm going to mine underneath these as well here. Just so they fall into my lap. There we go. And, uh... Go ahead and search up here real quick. There could be diamonds anywhere at this point. So we're just going to go up and up, up and up and up, until we run to like a dead end or something. And we can also go ahead and get the, uh, the cave nice and illuminated, so the stuff near our spawn or our mine shaft doesn't really do anything. Alright, so we got a dead end here. Means we can basically go back, explore the other way. 
I'm just gonna leave the torches there, like I said, to just illuminate stuff. Not like we don't have 64 torches burning a hole in our uh, chest at home, you know. Lich in here. Cool. There is a lava flow up here, so it's kind of concerning. Yep. Uh, that's bad. That's really bad. That means we probably are not going to be able to go up that way. Uh, there's just no way for me to really logistically manage to climb over this without getting myself burned uh, quite badly. And I could do it this way, but at that point, there's there's no real reason for me to go any further because it's just a wall of lava. So, yeah. yeah. At this point, I just close that up like that. And uh, say, that's it. I have a little bit of a lava resource down there I can go to if I need to collect lava for another portal. Although, look at the map, um, there's lava right there, so we don't need to worry about that. I can't see that white X there. It's kind of like, what's something I marked? I think if I just dig to the left now, it's going to show me the same corner. So I don't think it matters too much if I do it. Also, I just found diamonds, so usually you don't find multiple diamonds in the same area. I will, I will mine over this, though. Okay. And we continue. So now we have a total of six diamonds. And the more we can find, the better. You know, I at least want to go until this pickaxe breaks. Even though I can make more pickaxes, but it kind of depends on how I feel. You know, vein mine is kind of boring. Oops, that's a golden sword. Thank you. Nothing. All right. Moving on. I guess once the iron pickaxes, not the iron pickaxe, the stone pickaxes are all gone, I'll use my iron pickaxe, and then once that one's gone, that's where I'll draw the line and be like, okay, let's go to the top. Because I have plenty of iron up top, and I also got 17 iron so far. So that's helpful. Who, uh, opened Pandora's box right there? That is terrifying. Like, they just all of a sudden started screaming at me. I'm kind of concerned if the warden spawns and I can't see him or tell because the warden has like this AOE like blast attack that can get you if you're on top of something high and can apparently travel through blocks so if I'm out here minding my own business and the warden god I've not been putting torches down if, if the warden like launches that attack I'm kind of screwed Right? I mean, I can run away, but I don't know if running away is an option. I don't know if I can survive a hit from the Warden. That's the problem. I might not be able to. Also, if you really want to take this mining path like to the next level, you can just mine upwards too. There's it with like a mini map at school because you know, there's no lava above me. Like, oh, there's no diamonds up there. Continue on.
Hmm. At what point does mining become like a, a sunken cost fallacy where it's like, oh man, I've already gone this far, but like diamonds could be just like one block away. Like, if I give up here, what if they're like behind this one block, right? Like, Speaking back on the warden thing, luckily it doesn't seem like there's any uh, caves near me, which a cave would be required in order to actually have the warden spawn and for the uh, sensors to go off, right? I should be safe, I think, I hope. Yeah, I'm not finding anything down here now. I think I got really lucky a couple of times, and that was about it. So, I think it might be time for us to head back. But, what I could do is, uh, for this iron one, just look down the last couple of rows here. Look, I found redstone, no. So if I just like mine into here, get a little bit of extra stuff, you know? Not that it'll really do much, but especially because I have this one block here that ruins everything kind of. If only you could like go a, another extra block forward when you're mining. It'd be helpful. Here. Nothing. Watch with my luck. My iron pickaxe is gonna break right after I expose diamonds. Ah, that would be exactly how it goes. And gonna break on the next one or two. I'm not going to go that way since there's lava and stuff that way after this one. So, yeah. At least it didn't happen. Okay. So we can very quickly get out of here now if we just mash the space bar a little forward. We actually didn't make it that far with our, our pickaxes, huh? But we got what we came for. And that is what's important. When I zoom in, it looks like I'm not moving very fast at all, huh? I just... Zoom. It's like, oh, okay. Crazy. All right. Slowly but surely, making our way up. It is very, very far. And that's why I uh, have that water down there. So I can just drop down. And, uh,. So I can just drop down, you know, and uh, go into the water rather than having to, to glide down this. Look how slow that is. Oh. All right. It's night, so we will go ahead and sleep. Hope we don't fall down into the hole that I made. On outside. Okay. The thing, I guess. All right, so first of all, let's go up to our base. And at our base, oops, I can go ahead and make our diamond pick and stuff. We can also store all of our garbage we got here, and stone, all that stuff. I'll take these out. 
is a normal furnace. Perfect. Yep. Go. Let's start getting that iron creating, huh? Um, sort that. Sort that. Keep that for now. All right. So let me get three. I'm going to get two iron pickaxes at this point. Give me these diamonds. So, boop. One, two. One of these. Or a diamond pickaxe. And then... I have three more diamonds. So the question is, do I save them and use something else on them? Or do I make a sword? I... I think I should make a sword, right? Because a diamond sword is seven attack, mm -hmm. which is higher. Although I could make an axe, which is nine attack. Oof. <laughs> oh, the door opened and I almost died. Like, oh, I almost had a heart attack. I just saw them there and I was like, oh god, monster? No, mm -hmm. I'm just done. Is the question. Can you put sharpness on a axe? Huh. Sharpness cannot be applied to axes. Okay. I'm making an axe. Give me my primary weapon. I'm gonna make a couple of stone axes too, just for uh, normal stuff. At least until we get a decent amount of mm -hmm. you know, stuff going, of iron, specifically. Okay. Well, that'll cook. How are my potatoes doing? Are they fully grown? They are. I forget. Can I right click these to harvest them? Maybe if I take the torches off. No, I gotta. That. Well, the good news. Oops. Is I get a little bit of experience for this now. Thanks to a mod. So, if I had something with mending on it, this would be very helpful. Then I could, you know, heal it by just harvesting crops. Didn't even get like a full bar of experience from doing that, though. So, uh, kind of sad. Mm. Well, the cookie crumbles sometimes, you know. Mm. So I think I can actually go out further now. Mm. Mm. Looks like the water saturated those, so. We should be good there. Did we get a decent amount of potatoes? Let me get some water from our... Didn't I put a torch here? I guess I didn't, huh? Did I break that? Okay. There we go. Got an extra bucket of water now. Farmer! No oh, farmer! Are you farming up over here? Yeah, you are. Hey, bud. Uh, how about some potatoes for the diamond? Thank you. If I had carrots, I would also give you those. Of course, I don't have them. For now, let's go back over to there. I really want an anvil so I can use that uh, thing. But... So right now, remember, our objective, we're not trying to, like, fully finish this area, right? I need to see what is behind the obsidian that's there. Because the obsidian, it could have a chest in it or something. And if there's a chest, that means that they might have the, the letters that I can exchange for bottles of enchanting and stuff. Or diamonds. It would also be pretty cool. I wouldn't have to, to mine the diamonds. But that means also it's a limited amount of resources, right? So... 
we have to kind of carefully pick out what we're doing. You know? So let me first... I think going in from the top would be the best option, right? Because if I go in from, like, the side, and it's a chest in the middle, then inside the chest, I would have to... If we open the chest, I would have to break the obsidian that's on top anyway, right? So let's go ahead and open this up. Top, and we'll see what's happening. I was right, there's a chest here. There's also a bunch of paper, bottles of enchanting, got emeralds, crying obsidian, nuggies, vines, and poppies. Well, the uh, bottles of enchanting could definitely help us, so keep, uh, keep digging them up. See what else we can get in here. I don't really care about the paper. I got a letter. A memento, you might say. Polished diorite and obsidian. I'll take the obsidian and stuff because I can actually use that obsidian stuff, you know. Okay, so this one's done. Maybe I should mark the ones that I've done by putting a torch on top. Huh? What do you say? Seems like a good plan, right? Okay, put one there. I don't know how to jump on top of them every time I'm like, did we get this one? Okay, what do we got here? More nuggies, emeralds, more paper, blocks of iron, that'll help out. And bottles of enchanting. And a, oh, I just I just got a, a memento poppy. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. I can actually finish one of those things right now. But first, I want to get a little more just to here. We'll get one more of these open, and then we'll go to that one place and see what we get. I think all we needed was the Memento Poppy, right? We open one of them. We're also getting a lot of, like, iron and stuff from here, which is nice. So, very helpful to have. Okay. We got all that. I'm going to go ahead and put my shield on, get my axe ready, because... I don't know what's going to happen when we uh, do this. It might be a boss, it might be like a treasure, I, I don't know. I got golem heart boots. Okay. Let's see, three armor, two armor, oh. Okay. Okay. Well, that's where my stuff went, huh? Okay. 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 What do I need for this one? I need two blocks, three of these. Oh, vines come in these too, don't they? I guess that makes sense. I guess you can find everything you need in in the obsidian things, huh? And I actually another poppy. Okay. Okay, I'm... I'm on it. Let's do this, baby. Uh, this one. I'm picking up what they're putting down now. This feels a little bit cheating or overpowered as well to me. Um, uh, those boots are very strong. It increases my max health, knockback resistance, armor toughness. Like, geez Louise. Those. With those. Perfect. Now we just need more blocks of iron. That. Uh, it's getting to be nighttime, though, which is not great. Oh my god, I don't have my bed on me. Oh my god, no. No. This ain't how this is gonna end. Excuse me, sir. I have come to uh, steal your bed for a night. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, perfect. All right, sir, uh, I believe that I have some things that you might uh, enjoy. Perfect. Also, I guess I can give you these uh, these letters. And get a couple more bottles of enchanting. I think I can get another poppy of memory. This is a good deal, actually. If I can find these letters in, like, other... Like, after I... Of course, after I get um, the full set of armor, right? Um, if I can enchant it with mending, that would be just amazing. Remember, you stay in there, okay, sir? Now come out. Do they even get mending on this suit of armor? I will be unstoppable. Okay, so let's put this poppy in this one. I just need blocks of iron for that now, which I messed up by taking the blocks of iron from here earlier. And now I can put this one here and get the leggings. Oh, baby! Oh. My. God. This is absolutely insane. Okay, next. Uh, over here, I need to place down two iron. I need to place down some vines. And I need two more iron blocks, which I can a little bit later. All right, so let's get on top of this one next. Uh, I need a stepping stone, please. There we go. I keep hitting two to take out my uh, cobblestone pickaxe. Okay, I got the momentum poppy, the iron ingots, I got the blocks of iron I need, I got another letter, oh yeah, hell yeah. You know, I think it might just be each place has like three letters in it. Because there was three letters here, right? And I've already gotten all the obsidian container things, so I mean, at this point... This has to be the chest piece, yeah. Oh, they're even in like the shape of it too, aren't they? Interesting. Okay, so the last one was over here, right? Yeah, that's gonna be the helmet. Okay. So I just need two more blocks of iron, which I can easily make from the iron that I got from this. Uh, blocks, right? Boop and boop. Do that. I'm just gonna turn all these into nuggies as well. There we go. Perfect. And now I have the full set of armor! Pretty steady unlock. Gather irons, and then craft all of them of the golem heart armor pieces. So, take off the thorn helmet, and wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. I got strength and resistance one permanently. Oh my god. This is amazing. Like, I don't know if diamond would even be better than this stuff. Surely netherite would be better than it, but... Damn. Okay. Uh, I guess let's just free the villager now. I don't really need him to be there anymore. Excuse me, Mr. Villager. You can go free now. First, I have this letter of memento. Can you give me some uh, more bottles of enchanting, please? Thank you. Excellent. I wonder if there's a way to make a memento. Do they give you paper, right? Hmm. I feel like it'd be too easy if I could just make a memento, you know? Well, anyway, pretty sure I'm fully kitted out at this point. There's no other like weird structures, right? It's just those things. Yeah, okay. So now the real question is, can I um, enchant this stuff? Because if I can, then we are in busyness. 
how our first first order of business to get back home or home with air quotes because it's not our home anymore because now we can continue our adventuring and uh go around because we don't necessarily need to worry about uh getting diamonds at this point quite yet anyway All right, so back up here, right here. All right, so I can go ahead and go ahead and take out all my iron, all that good stuff. Retrieve this, and I need, and Bill, and Bill's are three. Okay, so one, two, three. Easy peasy, and squeezy, mm -hmm. and then I need my crafting bench here, which I was already at, I'm an idiot. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Anvil acquired. I can also make these nuggets into another iron ingot. Down there. Alright, now, mm -hmm. let's grab my mending and fire protection book as well as my power book. Climb this bad boy down here. Alright, mm -hmm. let's take the boots first. I just want to look and see. Put that there. Oh my god, everything works. Oh my god. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, so. Go ahead and do this. I'll just get a power one bow for now. And, uh. I. I kind of don't want to enchant my other stuff yet. Because if I enchant this. Um, without like an enchanting table, that means that I won't have a, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what would you say, um, I wouldn't be able to like normally enchant it, but I might lose out on like protection and, and other stuff that I could put on the armor, you know what I mean? For now, we're not going to do that. Um, what we need to do is we need to reorganize our inventory quite badly, um, starting by taking my bed, so I need this, thank you. Cool. Okay. Get rid of that. And we'll just throw what I don't need in here, right? So, do I want extra obsidian? Not really. Let's just do this. Um. Get rid of our iron gear and our golden helmet that I don't need anymore. Don't need potatoes or poppies. Keep the emeralds. Uh, let's get rid of this stone axe that we don't need. Let's get rid of the paper. Um, I can go ahead and turn these into those. Torches. Okay, so everything that we don't want in our inventory is out. Let's grab these. Plenty of torches now. Uh... I don't really need a strength potion, nor do I really need the heart of the sea, right? What can I even do with this? I can just make it into a conduit, which I don't need for anything. I mean, it's just like lux. I can just leave it here, but I could remember to come back to this point at some point. Uh, or to this area at some point. Uh, yeah. I don't really need that. I'll take the water breathing potion. Um, God, it really like sets... When you're actually like decently geared and you're looking around at like what you do and do not need, it really sets the bar for like, oh, I uh I don't really need this or this or this. Uh yeah, because I mean I don't need a, a normal axe if I have a diamond axe, right? So by eliminating the need for a normal sword, which, sure, the sword can, like, swipe multiple targets, but the axe is stronger, so I can get more hits on. And usually I'm not in a position where it's like, oh, there's a dozen enemies around me. I need to kill them all quickly. Got the bottles of enchanting. Um, I don't really need any of this stuff up here. Let's get a full stack of cobblestone just to have it. Um, I don't need any of the extra stones or anything. I guess I might as well just take an extra stack of torches just to have it. Uh, I got my bucket of water. I got my apple. I got my mending book. 
So really all that I need to do now is walk around to villages and find one that has a mending villager guy, right? And then I'll be pretty much set once I can get full mending in this and max it out with protection and stuff. I'll, I'll be pretty good, which is what we should do. So I guess we'll take the strength potion, potion, potion as well. Uh, yeah, I think we're I think we're good to go. I don't need anything else. I got my bed, uh, which I, I'm gonna actually have to place down because we need to sleep again. That's fine. And I don't need to worry about bringing along a furnace because I, I can make it out of that, right? But I do want to bring along my crafting bench. There we go. Pick it up, right? Yeah, I already had one. Toss on the ground. Okay, <clears throat> so previously we had also already found a uh, another village down here. We can set a waypoint over there and uh, head down that way. Yeah. The thing is, I really just don't want to. Like, I, I do want to kind of go fight those guys, but in my current state, where I don't have mending on my armor, and I don't know how durable this armor is, I, I'm assuming it's the same as iron, but. I don't want to run the risk of it being like gold and like dying immediately, right? So <clears throat> I definitely want to get myself some mending armor before I worry about anything else. Because I mean, this armor is not actually all that expensive. It's like you put. All I would have to do is find another one of these places. Where the hell was it at again? This one, I guess. Yeah, find another one of those places. <clears throat> and then I could, uh, you know, just replicate it again. But finding other wall places uh, does not seem like it would be very easy to do. Although it would be a great place to get bottles of enchanting, or even diamonds, too, at that point. Uh, there's a little Leaglu house here. Let's take a look. Oh, one of these, huh? Actually, if we uh, pair this up, grab door here. Go down the trap door. We'll see that it's apparently flooded for some reason. Why? Is it all flooded? I don't know why there's just a thing of water there. Anyway, um, there's a villager and then a zombie villager over here as well. And what's really cool is that in this area, they have a golden apple. And if we can get out of the spider web, I can show you what's over here. Basically, it's a little like tutorial on how to cure a villager that's a zombie. So we can basically get the uh, potion of weakness here, which is a splash potion. Throw it on this guy, give him an apple, and then he'll uh, basically be good to go. And not have to worry about that, but uh, can I? Get rid of this water, please. Thank you. Apparently not, because apparently there's more water there and there. Okay, well, I'm leaving then. I don't need to worry about all of those guys. Okay, moving on. I just wanted to show you guys that cool thing I found at one point. I actually found it in the survival game I was setting up. In case I got tired of the hardcore games, but... The rest doing really well, this hardcore one, I say, as I fall into a deep hole and die. That would just be so irony, wouldn't it? Okay. Getting closer to the village. At least I think it's a village. It's like a village. I might need to find a non-snowy village, though. Um, I'm not sure if the snowy villages would have the people I need. The uh, inscribers and stuff, because I think they might just be focused on other things. I'm not sure if the jobs work like that or not, but I mean, they could. Who knows? Get rid of this stuff. I think these beetroot seeds, I could use those later. 
Anything else I want to get rid of real quick? No. Okay. That's a good spike over there. Mm. Excuse me, sir. Have you heard about... No. I have not. Um. Mm -hmm. Ooh, more iron. Also, why am I not putting stuff in my, my bundle? Mm. Would have a lot, wouldn't it? Can I put the anvil in there? Oh my god, I can. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. Can I put the bottles of enchanting in there? I can. Mm. I have some dust. I don't want to. Not anymore. I can put my dried kelp in there, though. Yeah, sure. And this poor coal I have. I'll actually keep the coal outside. That's fine. Okay, perfect. So he just wanted emeralds. Nine. Where's the sun? Not noon. You don't have anything for me, sir. This is a furnace and a stone cutter, I guess. Oh, wait. You there! You nothing? You're nothing. You okay, little kid? Ooh, I like Open and close the door. Good, man. Oh? Heard you bang on something in here, sir. Really? An emerald for stone tools? Oh, messed up, man. Alright, how about this one little area that was out here? Coal for emeralds, huh? That's not a bad trade, but it's not also a, a great trade. Either. Uh, yeah. And then nine for a, a iron chest plate. Oof. Like I said, what I really need to find is a book guy. Ideally, one that has mending on him already. Well, that would be swell. Would it not just be amazing to find, uh, what are they called, inscribers? Just finding an inscriber that just happens to have a mending book already on him, right? I might end up actually having to make one, but I would like to do it in, like, a better town? Now there's two of those places right around them. That's terrifying. They have a pillager area over there. And they have another one that's, like, right down that way. Is that a shipwreck right there? That's just a cave entrance area. Um, I guess I'll just go south at this point. At this point, there's not much for me to really do here in the snowy area, so I just want to get out quick uh, and hopefully find somewhere better to set up shop. We did what our objective was previously, and we got our, uh, we got this armor, I guess. That's what we found out from that area we were in before. So now, it'd be swell if I could find, like I said, a village. That's what we need to find. That's what our objective is. We need to find a village that's in a decent area. It doesn't matter what the villagers are. I can make them into the inscribers or scribes, whatever the hell they are. And, uh... Go from there. But the, the fact of the matter is I need a village so I can make it a base and all that. So I want to find one, ideally, that is on, like, a uh, an ocean, perhaps. Because that way I could, like, use it to travel the ocean to find different biomes and stuff, right? And uh, the desert would be nice, too, for the sand. To make glass and stuff. So we go... Another village here. Looks like there's a farmer there as well. Yeah, it looks like Mutton does three hearts of health. Cool. I never remember what other things do, because I usually just eat melon, to be honest. Once I find melon and make it and start producing it, that's all I eat. Melon. All the time. But it's, it's so easy to make. You don't have to, like, cook it or anything like that. You just throw it in and make it. A lot of iron helms in this area. I guess the blacksmith's training with iron helms to produce those, huh? Got wheat, beetroots, emeralds. You want rotten flesh or a cleric? I had a zombie farm. I 
do that, no problem. Hmm. Yeah, that wheat and beetroot trade was nice, but the thing is, there's nothing around for miles. Okay, zooming out really far when it doesn't even show the map. We traveled a good ways. It is all snow all the way around me. That's, uh... No way it's actually a huge circle, right? Like, no way. I'm, I'm gonna start going, like, south east, I think. Like, this direction. See if that is the case. Ow, my legs. Bye-bye, legs. Do you well. Another one of those. Yeah, it is. Okay. You can even see the uh, the stone structure going down there. Okay. We're heading southeast. We're getting past here. Because while I do like the snowy and icy biomes, there's a lot of stuff that you just can't really do in them very easily, especially because they snow. I both like the snow and hate the snow. Because <laughs> I like it because they're fun and like they look cool. I hate them because it snows and covers up my crops and everything. Or will I have to like deal with that before I do other things, you know? I can do all this like nice aesthetic work to the ground and then the snow just comes and ruins it all. So if it is a circle, you right around here is the limit of that area. Is it getting night? I think it's getting night. The mini map darkened and it uh spooked me a bit, you could say. The dripstone cave over there. Well not night, okay. Oh my golly. Now it's night, right? E. Okay. Another village down here. It's not even like worth looking at at this point. I need to get out of the icy biomes. Got way too deep. In I'm pretty sure I did. I get to the actual like center, basically, almost. I guess. Huh. Almost got to the center of it. Okay. Got some good daylight. Hopefully get out of here pretty quick. Ideally, I'd also like a place that has cows nearby. Because if I have the cows, I can start breeding them to get leather. And then sell like their leather to like a leather worker, for example. And then uh, that would help us also get an income of diamonds that I could use. Not diamonds. Emeralds. That I could then use to trade in to give to uh, scribes in order to get mending books and stuff when we do eventually get to all that. But that's like later stuff. Man, I'm remembering how my first uh, like recorded hardcore game went, where I went through all the trouble of breeding villagers and finding like the perfect mending book that was like 19 dot emeralds or something right and then i uh went to the nether went to a bastion and like ended up just dying because i fell in lava oh no i didn't fall in lava i uh i was attacking a bastion and i was like oh crap i need to run away from these uh pigments because they are hurting me a little bit even though I had full netherite, I think, at that point. And full enchanted netherite, mind you. And they still, like, just pounded me. Ruined my life. Not a great time. What I'm trying to say is you can never be too careful with your, uh, playthrough on a hardcore. One little thing could... Cause you to die. What 
What is this like green tinted biome here? Or is it like some sort of stone or something? Curious. I guess we're getting out of the wood now. Well, but surely I'll get there. I think there's a nice big lake in the middle of this place, too. Come on. Come on. So we're finally seeing some animals. Cool. Oh my god, it's almost like a perfect circle. Holy crap. If this little biome didn't generate here, it would probably be, like, the most perfect of circles to like form in this ice. Weird. And there's like a little like jungle area here too. What the heck? I guess it's not jungle, just like plant stuff, but it's weird. Generation's weird. What is this biome called? Wind swept hills, huh? I want to mine that coal. I want to mine that coal. I'll need levels anyway, eventually. If I don't die. Perfect. Okay. Has the map updated anything else interesting? So we have this village. Question is, do I go there or do I continue going this way? Past the swampy area. There's a pirate ship here. Let's go down there. That'll be our marker. Check that out and see how it, uh, how it looks. My frames were dropping for a second there, and I was like, what the hell? I guess Minecraft was just having an issue with the uh, recording program. All right. Ah. There's some play there. All right, making our way over. I really dislike trees and hills as well, though. A nice plain biome with a village in it next to a uh, ocean would be great. And on the other side of the plains, a, a nice forest. You know what? Give me a plains biome on the side of an ocean that has a desert, a snow biome, and a forest biome bordering it. That would be ideal. And like, maybe add a mesa just a little bit, like across the ocean in one direction. Maybe you can get some gold from that, you know? Not that I have a big use for gold or anything, but deal. Okay, we're coming up on that boat. It looks like it's uh, not a normal shipwreck boat, though. It's uh, one of those trawler kind of ships that are out here that one of the mods do this. So that's fine too. Mm -hmm. I can take some stuff from him. If I can get up to his boat, that is the question though. But can I use these to like... Nope. You have a hole in your ship? You do not. How do I get up? Uh... Maybe I could, like, you know, right at the crest of the top of my, like, jump. You know? Okay. Well, screw it, sir. Your your ship's getting wrecked. Mm -hmm. Hit with a bed. 
because I don't want to waste my diamond axe on this. Mm. Hate mining when I'm in the. Okay, now I can place this here. Yeah. All right. What do you got? Hmm? Do I mean just raiding your boat? What do you uh? You got? You want coal or? Well, you know what? I will take that deal. There we go. Thank you. Ooh. Got some string. Bunch of cooked cod. I'll take some cooked cod. Once I know to cooked food. Puffer fish, some dried kelp. You know what? I'll take some dried kelp to snack on. Raw salmon. A protection four book. Okay. Okay. About this barrel that's hiding. More kelp, huh? Sea grass. We already searched all those. What's in your chest, sir? Raw salmon. Okay. Well, thank you for uh, looking out with me here. There's uh, nothing else I want from your ship. So, where do I go from here? That's the question. There's another ship in the distance over that way. I can see it overturned there, it looks like. I could go to that. There's also a nether portal up there. Looks like some planes here. That's kind of cool. Maybe a structure there, I think. Regardless, I think we'll go across there. So let me make, not make a boat, because obviously I have no wood. We're swimming, boys. Do I want to go to the boat? Go to the nether portal. Well, if I think about it, the nether portal doesn't really have anything we need in it right now, right? It uh, would only have gold or obsidian or iron or, or gear, right? So if we go to the shipwreck, we could find... Honestly, nothing I really want either. If we're being honest, I could find a uh, another map, I guess. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to go uh, open up the map again. Hmm. Swim faster, please. A little higher. There we go. Ah, the sweet spot where you can swim and uh, not drown. And then I ruined it because I uh, do that. Not having a boat is such a pain. Okay. We made it to the boat. Huzzah. What do we got? Buried treasure map. Book, book, paper. All right. Oh, boy, it's far away. Well, what I can do now, at least, is harvest some wood. Should be enough, I think. Enough for what, you ask? Well, enough to do this. Pop that down there. And make a boat. And then go the rest of these in there. Oh. Alright. I think there should be another chest somewhere though, right? Yeah, right there. Got a lot of wheat. Some potatoes. Ah, speaking of potatoes, I don't have a uh, any spare potatoes, so that's probably actually a good thing I found that. Alright. And it is becoming night once again. Luckily, I have just enough area to put that at. So the question is, where do I go from here? Um, I guess I can just go south, but I kind of want to loop around this area and see if maybe I can find a nice area on the plains there, too. Have a village. Yeah, there's a village there, you know? Mm. All right. Sleep.
we'll take this. Ink that with our boat. That baby down. And let's, uh, I guess, scope around this side. It'd be nice if we could find something quick, you know? But whatever the case, I'm sure we'll find something at some point, right? Or I'll settle, as usually happens. Very rarely on a Minecraft seed do you find anything of true value in terms of landscapes that you want, which is just such a shame. I'm sure I found some cool things, but never what I really, really want. Or at least if I do find something I really want, and then it comes to trying to build what I envision building there, it uh, never turns out very well. The hell? Is that another shipwreck? I think it is. I don't care, though. Well, speaking of, why don't we uh, look at this buried treasure? Cause... Okay, so we are... Wow. Is it? Right here? No. Yes? No. Yeah? No? Past a river. So it's like... I think it's right there. Looking at the map. What it looks like. We got some jungle over there, is that it? Do I go get the buried treasure though? Hmm. Oh, we got a uh, underwater monument down there. Another underwater monument. Is that another portal under the water too? Okay, I've decided. Let's go get the buried treasure. It's gonna be straight up north of us now. Oh, there, right? Okay, we got uh, a river with curved land and a little peninsula. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, so curved land, that wouldn't be it. That's not it, that's not it. It has to be a peninsula on the right of it, right? Where would it be at? No way, it's very far north, right? I don't... It feels like it would be like this area or something, right? But that's not how the thing looks. Also, I got this from there, right? And when I was there, it was like telling me up here, right? So right now I'm directly south of it. We go up. Basically. Yeah, it's, it's way too far north. I'm getting rid of this. I don't want it. Never mind. Back in the water. I thought it was close we would take a look, but I, I think it's very, very far north. Uh, just looking at the terrain, there doesn't seem to be anything that we uh, have in the recent or nearby areas for it. So trying to dig it up would be very annoying. I wish you could sprint with a boat, you know? Like, I might go faster. It'd be cool if you could put like a steam engine on it. That would be cool. That'd be pretty augers, right? What's all that? Kelp? Ew, I don't want any kelp in my inventory. Brown down there, though. All right. 
Any new villages or anything here? No. We got a fortress thing up there, though, or a labyrinth, whatever the hell it is. Oh, what is this? I don't want to check out what this area is. It looks like it expands that much. Why did it set it so far up in the sky? Uh, I guess while I'm just going over this one so, like, casually, I might as well loot it, right? Uh, wheat. Let me get some breath. That's a mushroom stew. That's a suspicious stew, not a mushroom stew. Never mind. Crap, it's a minute right now. Three. Two. Oh my god, drop it. Pick it up. Go. Three. I'm dying. Okay. Is there a third one on this boat? I think there is actually. Why can't I open this one, huh? 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 Oh. Oh. Another buried treasure map, huh? This time we are North. East. West. Northwest of it. By a very far margin, too. Ink? Actually, let me know. That's what I thought. What is that? I don't even want to deal with that right now. Also, the game is lagging a bit for me. I don't want to I don't look at that anymore. Let's, uh... You know what? Fuck it. Let's sell to this buried treasure, I guess. A coral reef. And a giant nether portal frame? Is there any treasure chest down there? It looks exactly like the other ones, where it has, like, iron, iron, gold around it, right? I don't know why I'm, like, lagging. Hate it. Gross. Can't see. Can't move. I can move, but I can't see. Get out down. Is that a treasure chest? I think it is. Huh. No. Go! Okay, I got a new hoe. Don't worry. Everything's good. I wonder if too many chunks are generating or something at once. What's going on? Why am I lagging? Hello, Coral Reef. How are you? Hello, hello. Ooh, desert. Underwater monument down there. See it over there? We'll explore that once we, uh... No, we're not gonna die. Is that a village? A desert village? Ooh. That could potentially be our uh, resting spot. If it has, you know, good stuff there. Ooh, an Acadia forest over there, too. Hello, villager! How is this? What is that biome? Oh, is the treasure just over there? I think the treasure was leading us to this place.
All right, this tower. I forgot. It's got cactus in it. Ooh. Cactus. Hello, kitty cat. It looks like there's a lot of guys who don't have... Ooh, hey, you. Aqua Affinity. Oh, man. Imagine. Imagine if this guy would have had not Aqua Affinity, but mending on him. That would have been absolutely insane. The absolute madman. It would have been insane. Okay. They already got some guys. Maybe, maybe I set up here. It's not the best, sure, but we have a villager who's a scribe. We have a bunch of villagers who don't have professions. We have cows already. We're next to whatever that is. Good landscape. We uh, are on the ocean with. Two underwater monuments within reach, right? We have whatever that is up there. We have plenty of trees around. We have an uh, Acadia forest or whatever's over here. You know what? This isn't bad. Okay. And it's on a nice narrow strip of land, which means I can easily fortify it. To make it so the villagers cannot wander off or anything like that. I thought I saw something in the water here. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Yeah. I think we stay here. All right. So which house do I want to take over? Also, we have this uh, huge, huge cave already. Easy mining resources, right? God dang. With Aqua Affinity, we can jump down there and search around, right? <laughs> yeah. It'll be our new home. It's actually very cool. There's like a river that goes all the way through that. And then there's like, it's protected by this natural huge cave barrier. So as long as I light this place up, like, all I have to do is fortify this and this area. And then make it so mobs can't climb up here beaches and it's easy like a fourth of my work's already done for me because there's that huge drop there all i gotta do is make sure people can't fall down it and we're good i don't even like it here oh yeah i can see it all coming together now like i said we need a house um that one looks the biggest but it's the librarians i guess i can I guess maybe combine these two together And have it be mine. I'll start in here for now, though. Uh, I don't have any wood to make a chest, though. Regardless, I'll go ahead and plop down a workbench here. And let's start by making a furnace. There. And I'm going to go ahead and just pick up this stuff. Okay. All there. Excellent. Okay, I got my bed. So I can sleep. All this stuff. So, uh, go ahead and just drop our terracotta over there. And uh, I need to get some trees now. Uh, we'll wait until morning. First, however, because I, uh, I really, really don't want to die. I guess I can get out my anvil and place it down for now as well. Let's place this one there. Hey, bud. This is my bed. You can't have it. Okay. What is this? It's... Limestone terracotta. Gross. It looks so nasty. Okay. Later. 
All right. Closest trees are over there. I need to make some chests so I can actually put stuff around, you know? Let's get out my boat, which I no longer have, so I left it over here. Okay. Well, uh, create waypoint. Name. Home. Let's make a dark purple. Confirm. Okay. Now I actually have a, uh, Waypoint that's not just an X, it's an H. There's plenty of sugar cane around too, so we can make oodles and oodles of books. Uh, that'll be great. Also, coming over here, it gives me the, uh, the chance to not only get wood, but to harvest more mapping area. Excellent. Ignore that tree. I want all the same kind here. All right, I forgot I have a diamond axe. Oh no! Is that everything? Oh, thanks. It is. I was expecting more wood, but apparently not. Okay. I want to get a uh, a sapling or two as well. That way I can plant them over closer to the village. I don't have to worry so much about him. Uh... Coming over here all the time. It, it's so hard to tell if there's like another one like, near it or not. Please. All right, let's eat this uh, dried kelp quick. Grab another inventory slot. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to throw it away. The last one that I had. Eh. Build up using cobble. I don't have to worry about using up my diamond axe's durability too quickly. Clay ball, get out of my way. Okay, I got a couple saplings here. There's some more dropping over here now. I think I've got enough wood. Oh, of course, there's a... I got six saplings. That should be enough to, uh, seven saplings. That should be enough for a little bit here. Let me do my buried treasure map. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is this a different map, or did it zoom in because I got closer to it? Anyway, take a look what's over here. So it should be right B. Blow me this point. Okay. Hmm. I don't see anything obvious down here. Does it really want me to go all the way down there to like mine one of those sand blocks? Is that what we're doing right now on this day? Do a water breathing. Okay. Take the water breathing potion just in case 
I might be able to surface before then. And uh, I'm going to drop these sticks. No, I'll get back in the boat for now. Okay. Saplings go in there. Uh, how's it going, Ragged? Going well so far, I think. We've uh, got a bunch of stuff. But we're uh, currently in the process of getting ready to set up like a home base for right now. Okay. Everything I can store for right now. Perfect. All right, let's go. We're going for some buried treasure at the moment, though. It's supposed to be right down here, so I'm guessing it's going to be right underneath this. Yep. Okay, well, found where it's at. Managed to dig it up. Ah, let's regenerate our air and go back down. Okay. Nab, 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 nab. Let's go. Oh, crap. It's going to hurt a bit. Okay. Thank God you don't just die immediately. Also, I can just throw away this buried treasure map. Bye bye. Oh, okay. All right, now we've got wood. I can make a treasure chest. And, uh, more stuff, I guess. All right, go ahead and park the boat right in here. Boop. Excellent. Going back to the house. Hello, cat. All right. Let's convert the logs. I'm going to convert a couple of them for now. Make some chests. Do that for now. Okay. Um. I guess we can put them right there. Okay. For the potions, store that. For the TNT, that stuff, this stuff, the books. Oh, that, 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 and that, and that, and that. Let's put the battles of enchanting there, the obsidian there, the gold ore there, and these beetroot seeds go there. Perfect. Okay. For the emeralds as well. All right. Now then, take that back, that, move that over there for right now. Yeah, I've seen that ragged. It doesn't seem like my sort of game, personally, that game strayed, but uh, I have seen people watch it, and it seems interesting enough to watch. Uh, wouldn't want to play it, I don't think. Okay. Excellent. We have from this. First of all, we need dirt, I guess. Hmm. I'm gonna make a farm, but uh, well, I don't have dirt to make a farm with. That's unfortunate. I can make the, I guess, the outline for a farm for now. And what I'd actually really like to do, I suppose, is to level this place out a little bit. That way we don't have to worry too much about different elevations and stuff. And lighting works better when it's not on multiple elevations as well. Harvest up all this wheat. Perfect, okay. On to the next level. Is this terracotta? Yep.
Okay. Level that out. It's getting to be night again. It really feels like night is happening way too frequently. Is that a thing on hardcore where night just like comes quicker? I don't play enough hardcore to know. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go to the bed then. My bed, sir. Okay. What what do you sell again, sir? Oh, what? Didn't you sell Aqua Affinity? Or is there another librarian somewhere around that I don't know about? Got the smooth sandstone. That should match up with this, right? Yes, it does. Excellent. So I can do that. Go ahead and expand my base a bit. I need more space, they don't. Okay. Perfect. All right, and now let me. If I think I'm gonna place these here, right? I can get three smooth stones enough. I can make the roof again. Oh, almost perfect. Oh, so good. Um, I guess I can then expand this window using the last two that I got here. There we go. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can get ten more. Make a floor. Sorry, I'm not using full blocks there. Okay. Also move my bed into that corner there. Take this bed and I'm just going to move it to a different uh, house. I think the librarian doesn't have a bed, right? Yeah. Here you go. There's your bed. Now you don't have to use my bed all the time, sir. Sure. Ooh, actually, what I should do right now, since there are cows in this village, and there's two of them, I can just feed them real quick, and have them make another kid. That way, I don't have to wait around for them to grow up later. Yes, yes. For now, I'll just level everything out, and I can make a wall using the sand and stuff around the village. Why is there smooth stone underneath this? Out of shovel. There's just a little bit up here. Mm. Yeah, but this isn't just normal sandstone. Okay, this is. Never mind. I thought it was the smooth sandstone, because from over here, I got a couple of smooth sandstone and not just normal sandstone. Okay. Well, I guess first... Let's just kind of make a uh, area here to cordon off that side of the land from this side of the land. That way our villagers won't uh, be attacked by mobs in the event that I don't sleep for a night or something. Then let's go ahead and make it just turn 90 degrees here using the contours of the land. And a little bit further that way.
go. Perfect. All right. And now, go ahead and just increase the sand here around the edge so monsters can't just climb up this area. That'll be perfect. Battle all right. I think I'm out of sand now. Yep, okay. Need more. At least with that, I can uh, have a somewhat safe area. Yep, I know that ragged. I just uh, haven't gotten that far yet. I'll get it up there at one point, you know. Also, I think I want to make this another higher as well. Or, better yet, why don't I just go ahead and remove this sand here so that villagers and stuff can't climb up this wall. Get out. And I also get more sand to continue this construction project. Perfect. Okay. Um... Uh... And I also want to put lights on top of this wall so things can't spawn on top of it. Go. Excellent. All right. That area is cordoned off. And then while we are at it, I definitely want to make sure they can't just fall down this pit. That would be bad as well. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just leave those little there. Ah, oh, crap. I can just corners. Literally, cut corners. Oop, and then these need to be a little bit higher because of this area. Actually, what is this area even for? Give me this smooth stone. Mm. The path that leads to nowhere. Mm. Okay, excellent. Then let's take this. Sand here. And this sand here. To continue making a nice wall around that cliff of death. Okay. Watch this. Should I just. save some time if I come over here with it. Do that. Right? And I can just do this. And no one can get out this way. I can finish putting some torches on top of this wall. And then shave this down a bit so monsters can't spawn and jump across out here. Alright, um... Over here quick. I'll make my smooth sandstone into, uh... Sandstone slabs. Oop. Oop. Then I can do this. 
Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop. Oh, the spiders can't come over this side. Do the same thing here. Okay. I'm just gonna light this place up just for the hell of it anyway. Make a wall here. Go. Now it looks somewhat normal. Um, mm -hmm. Now I've realized I've sort of trapped myself here. Mm. Ah, yes. Let me just break into this house real quick. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Mm. Okay, so I, I can't get through that right. I want to. Can many zombies get through this? If there's a cactus in the way. Oh, cat! How'd you get down there? You fool. Well, I guess that's where you live now, cat. I love that place up too, so it shouldn't be wanting anything crazy. Sleep time. In the bed. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. You need to wait one night and actually make the uh, bed. My God, my words, please, my words. Make it so that I can tell if there's enough light in the village or not. Look at this poorly made road, y'all. What are y'all thinking, huh? Who, who, who designed this road? Which one of y'all? Whose ass do I got a kick? Was it you, huh? gonna do we're gonna take the smooth sandstone do this with it in the way sir excuse me if that's not what I want to do at all never mind Why? Why are you guys getting in the way? Perfect. There we go. And you guys have a nice path down. Okay. Fix some problems as I see them. One's not going to be there. there we go. Excellent. I'll finish making this part of the wall. Three high. I think I can just do this here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can put there, torch there, put a torch over here. Probably also want to put a torch up in this area so I can't spawn monsters up here. On top of this roof. Should I not put a torch there? Or, or then. Mm -hmm. Good enough. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got 
water here. Big risk for us. So instead of dealing with that, let's just do this. Excellent. And I can remove this uh, stuff here. Excellent. I'm gonna move this one too, I don't care. All right. Mm -hmm. Put a torch on top of that wall. Down here between these houses, and I'm not even gonna bother going back that way. Oh, look at what I'm doing, man. You're bothering me. Go. Boop that. There. Next up, I'm going to pick up all this. Block off right here. Perfect. More sand. Perfect. And then I can go ahead and take the smooth sandstone and place it on the outside. Is there, but we need probably one more over here on this side. I also want to put some sandstone over here. Prevent scooters from getting up. Although, if I do that, then I'm gonna go all the way around the wall, aren't I? Yep. Okay, well. Go. And then over and around here as well. And of course, we can get it around here now. Stay in there. Oh my god, another one. Okay, and you know what? If spiders can get up, up that little area there, they're welcome to get into the village. Mm -hmm. I will let them at this point. I'm not going to mess around over there. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to just do that. And there we go. Okay. <clears throat> so that should protect most of that side. So let's finish up this little area here. Okay. I'm gonna need more sand. Back up to this heap of sand. Come 
on now. Oh, we got two iron golems. That's nice. And what I would not give for a diamond efficiency shovel right about now, right? is done excellent nice and leveled looking beautiful mm. Mm -mm -mm. looking good okay uh, now that finish up this side next the farmer but you know what i want to lock in that trade of his so sir mr farmer Here's a bunch of wheat for you, sir. Perfect. Now he will not uh, lose his trade. We got so many more people that can convert into other things as well. Okay. For this area, I'm just going to go around the edge. Make it so monsters can't just climb up here. Is good enough because spiders don't normally spawn in the water much. So I shouldn't have to worry about that too badly. And spiders are pretty weak anyway. And it's not like they're going to be spawning cave spiders or anything. So. Be good. Take all that for right now, though. Any area? Nope, that's all nice and flush now. I want to leave like this place open actually. Have this be kind of like the uh, the dock area or something, right? Let's do that. Basic outline, and then I'll deal with the rest of like raising it up and stuff later, making stuff look nice. Okay. Let's begin by outlining this area here. Porches. Oop. All right. Basic perimeters done. This way, area looks a little bit easier. What the hell is the entrance for this thing? over there? Taking the sand though. This is my sand now. The sand too. I'm taking this. This is even here. This is all mine now, too. All right. The light level, light level. That place looks a little dark. I don't like that. Here's a little dark. There's a little dark. That's dark. Dark. Here's pretty dark. 
This is dark as well. So we'll do this and that. Over here. Cow's area is quite uh, dark as well. Although I don't think I can really get anything up here. So let's just torch them up. Look, a spider. Yeah? Huh? You want some of this? Yeah, you don't want none of this. What a thought. Actually, you know what? I don't want that. There we go. Well, I have just one little thing jutting out. Ow! Oh, yeah? That's what y'all doing, huh? Yeah, no, thank you. Okay, no way. Procedure withdrawal. Whew. Armor didn't take too much damage from that, at least. He's in the way. Cows. Here you go. Have another kid. <coughs> so the inbreeding can begin. Where'd they go? Did they just despawn? I guess they did. Or they drowned or something. I don't know. What matters is that they're gone. little more sand that I can finish that place up. There. Now nothing will get up this way except for that one little area there which I... One more sand to finish of course. Perfect. Okay. Now let's finish lighting up the perimeter here. There we go. All right. Whole area should be secure now. A little bit dark there. I don't like that. Very little dark. Put a nice torch right there too. Okay. I have more torches now. Everything looks good here. until I can work things out properly here. Make sure there's no shadowy areas. And we got a little more down here. Over here on this cliff side area. Okay. I think our base is now pretty much defended. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Okay. I do want to get this tile here a little bit lower as well at some point. That would be great. And then we need to finish some more of the area over there. Make sure that no monsters can come up. So let's go ahead and get some more sand from this side here. anime oh bro all right we have enough though should be good all right uh over here I'll fill this area in this level at some point so we'll just do this 
and lots of great there. So a nice outline of what I want it to look like for now. So I want this on torch there just to have it exist. Please. And we are out of sand and near. Okay. How about everything else? Anything else that they can use to get up? Uh, no. Oh, right there. Right, right there. It looks like bad. Okay, excellent. Now, nothing except for spiders climb up from the water. Excellent. What's this uh, purple icon over here? Is that my boat? Ah, oh, it is. That's cool. Alright, so this is the only area on this side that you can get up from. Actually, this is the only place anywhere you can enter the village from. Is this little dockyard that I'm going to build here. Okay. Excellent. That's good. The village is protected. It's lit up. Got a nice well here. Huh. A little bit of water missing from that side, it looks like. Giving it water now. Perfect, perfect. All right. <clears throat> How are you cows looking? You want some more food? Hmm? You do? Okay, there you go. Get a way to grow up. I'm a little concerned about the roofs of some of these places. I think over here... Fine, I'm gonna build some steps up to this. Go up here. Just to plant it all up. I think mobs can spawn on these little nodes there. But it's like that, we should be good. Okay. All that I got done, there's those up there. I think this house is fine. Don't think anything to spot up here? Nope. Half slabs, perfect. Last couple of houses over here. Mm. We have that and that. Mm -hmm. This. Ah, mm. I'm pretty sure those are half slabs as well, so I don't need to check those. Mm. And then the last building is this one over here, which it looks like it might be in danger. There we go. All done. Mm, I would say maybe the cow pen, but I think those are slabs too. Yeah, nothing there. Okay, perfect. Y'all tricked me. Y'all are following me. And you didn't need food. I can't believe this. Okay, so that's done. All right, so now what I will do is I'm going to take all the wheat, wheat, wheat if I can pronounce it. All right, give it to that farmer and do some trades for some emeralds. And uh, after that, I will consider what my next move is. This pile of wheat stuff, it kind of gets in the way, you know. Also, one of these times, I'm gonna like come down there and just smack into that cactus. That's gonna be annoying. Okay. Convert all of this into hay. Excellent. Where's the farmer at? Where'd he go? Farmer! Farmer! No, 
thought I heard some doors open and closing. Did we go inside somewhere? Oi, Fama! Where the hell'd you go? Not the farmer? I don't know, that sends them all to their damn places. There he is! A warning bell, I forgot. Ooh. Ooh. Like that? Like all that wheat, sir? Oh, literally the last one I did, and he was like, nope, no more. Now I can sell him potatoes, or I can get pumpkin pie, or pumpkin pies, or an emerald. Nice. Okay. Well, I don't need any more of that, so. Um, let's see. I think. I can use this area as a sugarcane farm. Okay, now I'll put one here. More water. water here, up there and there, and there, okay, I can get one more thing of water, but I'm out of sugar cane to plant for now, I'll put that there, I can put that there, and have it be nice and beautiful, okay, that'll be a nice source of paper to trade with the librarians, to get books and to make books and stuff like that. Um, oh, sir. All right. I'm going to remove this one and also refill my bucket. Okay. So let's go to the top of this tower. So I have a good overview of the village. I can plan my next step. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, this is our village. We'll, of course, continue to get more cows so we can have leather. In fact, I think once we fill in the sand around this area to make it a nice, even landscape, I'll expand it so that the cow's pen is bigger and it reaches to the border of the water. Uh, that way I can have more room for the cows to be, have more cows, breed them more. Uh, then it comes to farming. I think the ideal place would be there. If I remove some of the sand and sandstone, Find a patch of dirt somewhere to mine, probably over in this area here. I will uh, do that. And then throw that down, stuff like that, make it nice. I also want to get some sandstone fencing to put up around the edges of the entire area that's not walled off so that the villagers don't just walk off into the water for some reason. Just to make sure that's safe. And then I would like to also construct a couple more houses, I think, for the villagers. Uh, that way they have their own beds and stuff like that. Because there seems to be a lot of villagers without homes or beds right now. Uh, and the more I build, the more that they'll mate? No, they need food and stuff to mate, which I could force them to do. That's a whole other thing. I guess I could make a village breeding area too, at some point, if I wanted to, really. Uh, all I really want is a mending book out of the villagers. So that's a thing. Uh, but we got the cows, we got the farm, sugarcane farm, we got the walls to build, we've got houses to build, we've got to build more inscribing tables, we get more book villagers. Actually, I'll probably just build one and then keep cycling through a couple of villagers to have them get the uh, book that I want. Get a, a mending book on the first 
screen. We talked about a couple other things, like uh, I think the, the arrow, the Fletchers, they take sticks, which would be really easy to trade them with if we give them sticks for emeralds. Probably destroy that farm at some point, and I might make that area a, a little smaller farm of something else, maybe. Uh, really, I don't know. Then what else do we need? We need an enchanting area, so probably over there for that. Probably good. I think that's all for right now. Maybe put like another portal right there. Where there's like no real room for anything else. And uh, then I think we can call that good. Yeah. That'll be the plan for now. Um, what is the button to like hide the UI? Is it F10, F9, F8, F7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1? F1, okay. But yeah, we just like stand up here. And boop. Take a screenshot. And if I open that bad boy up, I'll have a nice little screenshot of what it looks like now. And I think what I will do is off stream, I'll build the village, tinker with some stuff. Otherwise, if I stream, it's just going to be me doing a bunch of working. So I'll save this screenshot. And when I'm done, when we start at the next stream, I'll show kind of like the before and after uh, of what we've done. So that you guys can kind of tell how it looks or how it looks after. And I don't need to worry about the, uh, the area over here because there's not going to be much change to that area uh, immediately. Because I'll build another portal uh, once we actually get up to there and whatnot. Uh, I'm not going to build it right now and just have it sit there doing nothing, right? Also, we need a flint to start the fire for it as well. But regardless, I think for now we'll end things here, everyone. And uh, yeah, so I guess look forward to the progress that the village makes. I definitely trade a little bit with the villagers, try to get them to have the professions I want. Uh, if I find a mending villager, I'll trade whatever it has with it, so I have at least a mending book locked in and I don't accidentally have the get overwritten uh, before the next recording session. And we're just going to go from there. So, oh, it's nighttime, so I should probably just nap and then call it there. Not my bed, man. See, this is why I need more beds for them. They keep sleeping in my bed. Very rude. All right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. The day has ended. Perfect. And we can now save them quick. Also, before we actually end, end, I do want to show y'all one thing. Because, like I said, if the uh, hardcore run does end, uh, and I get frustrated of trying hardcore stuff, we'll probably just do a survival of 1.19. I want to open up the survival world I started a bit. And show it off. So if we go here, you can see we have uh, the hardcore mode. One, and we also have a survival mode one. So, open it up. True, true. Um, the world uses experimental setters that are not supported. I would proceed, I don't care. All right, so in my survival world, I really didn't do much, to be honest. I, uh, Honestly, just found one of these places that we were at earlier today. And if we load in, you'll be able to see kind of where I've explored, came from in the survival world. Because I was doing this after the, the last hardcore stream ended. And I was like, I want to find like a neat place to set up shop before, uh, if we do another stream, I can use it. So I basically just went around to like nether portals and stuff like that and got all this gear. Uh, nothing too crazy. I got a head. All. I think the highlight of what I have is probably this mending golden axe and this iron sword with sweeping edge on it that I found. Uh, I had not yet investigated this area, um, as you can tell, because everything's like untouched. I'm not wearing that special armor. So, yeah, I just kind of found it and I was like, maybe we'll investigate this at the beginning of our survival gameplay stuff. But, uh, Turns out I didn't need to do that. Also, there was one of those scary towers right nearby here. So, 
yeah, for now we're we're not gonna have to worry about dealing with the uh, the survival world. That'll be if we lose the hardcore run, and I don't want to start another one. Yeah. But that'll be all for this stream, everyone. So thank you all for watching, hanging out, and everything like that. And uh, next stream will be I don't know, whenever I feel like it. Since uh, today was Sunday, I decided to stream so I had nothing better to do. But Monday and onward, I kind of want to try to develop some stuff for a, a game I'm working on. But I don't know how that'll, how that'll go. I might stream a little bit here and there. We'll see. But uh, if you miss anything, the VODs will be up on the YouTube channel for y'all to check out. So, yeah. Until next time, I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.